little off the wall one shot. Uh, D&D Adventure School is what we're doing today. We will hopefully have a Rachel with us. She said she's messing around with her audio and that it's not working out too well at the moment. So hopefully she'll be back with us in a few minutes. Uh, but uh, we're going to press on anyway and uh, begin. So let's introduce our cast for today. So we have Mr. Zartard with us today. How's it going, man? It's going great. How are you? Not so bad. Not so bad at all. I'm missing Rachel, but, you know, it's okay. Hopefully she'll hey. be okay. Your heart will recover. Yeah, my heart will go on, yes. Um, so, who are you playing today, sir? I am playing uh, Tomlin, a a farming monk. And I will be teaching basically agriculture in the school, but it, it'll be how to, as far as adventure goes, how to live off the land and how to be profitable about what, what's around you. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, and we have Mr. Robots with us today. Hey, I'm How's Warehat Buddies. Yes. I feel yeah. left out. Goddamn. Rage, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've got an extra one. You want to borrow it? Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Gilbert Longbottom. Mm. I am a uh, halfling fighter. Um, I'm very strong. I was a lumberjack uh, before working at the school. And now I teach math using wood. <laughs> in, in what ways? Well, you know, like division. <laughs> division of wood. <laughs> One divided. Uh, and fractions. I'm fractions. Sure, I'm Things sure like they, we're going to uh, take half the log. <laughs> right, right. I'm sure the parents aren't aware of that. Uh, <laughs> thankfully. I also have negative one intelligence. So. Nice. <laughs> I'm mentioning you as like the, the Jack Black school teacher of the, uh, <laughs> of the school here. <laughs> nice. um, Two plus three equals log. <laughs> yes. Yes. Log plus log equals more logs. I don't know. Uh, I think the head crab for the host as well, man. What's up, dude? So today, uh, like I said, we will have a third player joining us today, Rachel uh, Nexeris42 in chat, who uh, will be playing Vicky, uh, who was in uh, the 24 hour stream in a similar role in Cirque du Soleil. Uh, but, uh, what's up, G? How's it going, man? So, today, these guys are adventurers of a sort. Or, they were once adventurers, because these guys were such bad adventurers that they managed- that they decided, you know, to not, um... To not adventure anymore, essentially, and they realized it'd be way more profitable to set up, basically, a scam organization in which you guys pretend that you're folk heroes, and... <laughs> Um, tell the, the rich merchant uh, like parents that they're going to send their their uh, their kids to school at your school, which you've decided to uh, to build, um, and um, yeah. So you realised that it was a much safer and b much more profitable than actually adventuring. So you guys kind of teach different aspects of adventuring life, and Vicky's the other teacher there as well. Um, so what I want to know is what is the school? Um, you know, where is the school? And, you know, what goes on in the school? Are there any kind of, like, practices which you guys have? You know, what's it like for lunch times? You know, do you have regular breaks? Is there, like, playtime? Um, basically, like, how do you guys run your school? Because there is no headmaster. It's run by the diplomatic organization of the three of you, um, which the parents think is very kind of, like, avant-garde. Um, and <laughs> because they're all, like, rich Free merchants. Form. They're all like rich merchants, they're like, oh, isn't it amazing, darling, simply fabulous. Um, and they want their kids to be rich adventurers, because, you know, why get a job when you could be an adventurer, right? So, exactly. it's like streaming. So, um, <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's hear from you guys. What do you think, where do you think the school is, first of all? Is it going to be like in a town? Would you like it to be in like a major city or just in like a little um, uh, village? I personally wouldn't mind it if it was in the middle of nowhere like a cult like just full on mm -hmm. <laughs> middle of the desert yeah middle oh, I of the yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i think i think i think it's it's definitely out in the woods and we use our surroundings as part of our our methodology for our teaching mm -hmm. so so it, for example the, stu best from the, wilderness. The, the students get up in the morning and um uh -huh. they have breakfast and mm -hmm. then at some point during the day there's a random encounter where we release some sort of wild animals <laughs> on the camp i love it <laughs> <laughs> because they have Perfect. to learn to be adventurers and they have to deal with the situation and then they, they move on to their, their can we be totally totalitarian just 
Iron <laughs> fisting. So I love it. Every day yeah. there's like uh, a new random encounter which I have to do. Is it like dungeoneering? Right. Like, you know, every week they have to go down into a dungeon for like a raid or something? Yeah, it's yeah, a very yeah. cavernous area. So they, we force them to explore the caverns. Right, right. Yeah, there's caverns underneath the, the school. Right. Um, and, and that's that's the uh, field trip. Right. Every week we go on a field trip <laughs> down into the caverns. Already some come back. <laughs> Yep, and since she's not here to contest it, can Rachel relentlessly whip the kids just for no reason? <laughs> I think she's the uh, she's the head of of the um, <laughs> of the trips, and and she she yeah. organizes the the uh, <laughs> yeah yeah I think so too. Those, that makes adventures. that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I can't hear her saying otherwise. So um, yeah. Um, oh, it <laughs> looks like she <laughs> might. Sounds like she might she might be back. Um, can, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, uh, we yeah. hear you. We hear you. Yes. Uh, we can see you. Though. No um, video though. No video, yeah. Hold on, hold on. One thing at a time. <laughs> there he is, there we are. Perfect. So, um oh. there there is the rage for you guys. Panic Sorry. over. Panic over. So what does the school look like? Is it a building? Is it like a log cabin that Gilbert's built? Uh is it gonna be like a, a glad like a gladiator arena? What is the actual school? I imagine like log cabins. I imagine we would have built them since I'm I'm a farmer and you you're uh Lumberjack. Uh, lumberjack. Yeah. It's like a camp. Uh, yeah, like, like some a camp. full-on summer camp, right? Mm. Right, right. It's like a summer camp, and it's like <laughs> they're, they're little little huts that are kind of around it in a, like a very large circle where, it, like, large enough that it, you have to walk a little ways from one, one building to the next, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, on one side of the circle is, like, the main hall. It's, like, the main room where, like, the, the classes are, and attached to that main room is kind of the... Uh, the the food area where they where everybody goes to eat and then in the center of this area is um kind of a big open field where where we have all of our major events or we gather the this... set up for archery and stuff right 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 mm. and you then, sound like uh, they're taking this so seriously yeah yeah and then uh off off go. on the side uh, like off off into the woods is the entrance into the caverns where we where they go on there they're okay. questing lessons. Yeah, yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Um, so, uh, Rachel, we we established that Rick, uh, Vicky would Ricky, Vicky would be uh, head of the. the <laughs> Don't change me to a guy again, please. <laughs> I kind of put your names together there, Baxton. No, uh, no, 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 no. That Vicky would be part of the um, you know school morale, aka you know the main whipper. Um, <laughs> so, um, as long as okay, you're cool with fine. That. So uh, we okay. know we know your guys' uh, roles. Uh, in the school, we know what the school looks like, um, and we know uh, the the kind, the kind of kids that go there. The kind of rich. I imagine you advertise it like completely differently to how it actually is. Like you have like notices up in a local town, which is like you know peaceful summer retreat, and when you get here, <laughs> like like you have to give your kids away, and that's when like the cages come out, and you have to like start eating gruel and. Did they yeah. sign the waivers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like a main. Hold on, uh... we have waivers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's there's like a main entrance uh, building that looks all decked out and nice for the, all the parents, and that's mm. where we <laughs> greet them and meet them. And then we bring the children through the building, out the back of the building too. <laughs> that's the that's, that's perfect. Well, today yeah. is uh, the start of term, uh, and so you guys have been on holiday. So start of a new term. The kids are like coming back from uh, from their uh, you know eleventh month uh, <laughs> training course in school uh, to get their. Uh, they're one month off um, of school. So that's where we're going to begin today. But before we do, uh, join in and start today's adventure. If you are new, hit that follow button and join us because when we hit 20 followers today, you guys get to throw something into the mix and decide what happens next in our game. So you could decide that all of the kids suddenly turn into beholders or, you know, all the parents just suddenly decide to, to murder everyone. Uh, you guys can throw in any ideas. We'll put it into a straw poll and the most popular decision will happen. Uh, also, here is a tweet. When that tweet hits 20 retweets, the same thing will happen. And when we get two subscribers today, then we'll have another viewer decision. So if you're looking to burn $5 today, why not do it on a Ganon Roleplay? Uh, and speaking of which, you can donate to affect the game. You can give players Nat 1s, Nat 20s, Wild Magic Surges, and the like. Um, so we can throw all sorts of nonsense at these players. I'm actually going to save up for a new uh, GPU for streaming because the other day I had uh, some like crashes and then uh, when I was off stream I had some similar problems as well. So hopefully um, we can uh, 
get that fixed and be uh, all good for the next, you know, year or so of streaming. Uh, other than that, uh, I think we are all set and ready to go. Our uh, promotional period has finished with experience points, but I'll remind you guys once again. It's on my mind. I was watching it earlier today. If you haven't checked out experience points, go ahead and do so. Uh, cool D&D web series on the YouTubes. But yeah, other than that, let's uh, let's begin today's story. Unless I've forgotten anything, Rachel. Have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. Um, there's anything. Games Fest next month, if you're interested in mentioning that. There is Games Fest right, next month. Okay. October 22nd, loads of you in the UK. Come along, meet us. I'll drop a link to it in a second. So, um, yes, you guys, first day of uh, on a new term. You're getting the kids back into school. Uh, so... We're going to begin with you guys in that kind of office area that you, you described, you know, the really nice log cabin, like, furnished, uh, polished, like, wood and everything, you know, sitting down at these desks waiting for the, the kids to come in and for the parents to sign them up. Um, so, you have a whole, like, uh, kind of caravan of parents and their children going today, all of them kind of like the rich merchant types of their, like, rich little kids coming along. Um, hey, and poor, thanks so much souls. to Griffin for subscribing. Thanks so much for the two months, my man. I appreciate it. I salute you. Um, good afternoon. What a, what a fucking way to make an entrance. That's how Griff walks into a room. He's like... subscribes <laughs> 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 yeah. to the room. Hey, and to Sway as well. Fuck. <laughs> Greg, it's our second anniversary. Now back to work. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sway. I appreciate it, dude. I salute you. That's two subscribers within two seconds. Fuck. We're going to have a view decision right off the bat here. So, uh, the uh, the parents begin to come in. Let's get some visual descriptions of what your characters look like as they uh, they enter today. So, um, let's start with uh, Tomlin then. So, uh, Zata. There you go, yeah. Um, I, Tomlin is an older, older, grizzled, mm. clearly hardworking gentleman. Um, scars, dirty hands and stuff, but he's, he's washed up for this particular occasion to try to put his best foot forward. Um, he has his best worst um, meeting attire on. It's mm -hmm. all wrinkled and stained. But he, he, he looks the best he possibly can as an old grizzled farmer. Gotcha. Gotcha. Very nice. Um, and I uh, remember your name. Gilbert. How can I forget? Gilbert. Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert, uh, being a lumberjack, has his best flannel shirt on. It's really nice. And, I mean, I'm talking like, like it's really, it's really like, you know, you know those flannels that just feel like cotton. They're just like <laughs> soft. And he just keeps touching it, like he keeps rubbing his hands on his chest. Like, like, he only wears it once a year for the special occasion. He's like, wow, this is soft. soft. He's like, man, this is good. He never washes it because he just wears it the one time, and then once oh. the parents leave, he goes and changes and hangs it back up in the. God. Wow. Okay. Nice, yeah. um, nice. Uh, and then Vicky, what does Vicky look like? Um, well, nothing like that for starters. Um, <laughs> she has slightly worn out clothes. She does wash them on the rare occasion she feels like it. Kind of like mucky greys and blacks. She's got like um, a coat which looks like it's one size too large for her. Um, short black hair. Um, eyes that are completely black. There's like there's no pupils or anything. It's just completely black, mm -hmm. and just, but you get the smell of that she may have had a drink in the last hour. But like every time you go near her, she has that smell <laughs> lurking around her. <laughs> so um, she might she might have an alcohol problem. Just maybe. Gotcha, gotcha. Nice. Um, so the uh, the group of you are uh, just uh, w waiting and watching as the. Um, the, the parents kind of uh, flood in with all of their kids immediately. Uh, Gilbert, there's a, there's a kind of fat merchant guy with his his like uh, his little kid, uh, and he's like, "Will you will, will, will you will you take him? Do you think he, he'll he'll be able to make it as an adventurer?" And I I, I walk up and I, I kind of get up and I stand real tall in my little short. Oh, what a nice body. what a nice shirt! And, and I go, oh, thank you. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Gilbert. Welcome, welcome to our camp. Let me size up the little fella. And I size up the little fella by looking up and down at him. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, what does the kid look like? Uh, the kid is like a, a pasty white kind of, doesn't look like he really gets out too much. He's like one of those, Aww. he's one of those kids that sits at home and plays, uh, Humans and houses, humans and houses, all the time in his, <laughs> in his mum's basement. 
<laughs> no what idea. What a boring kid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I look at him and I go, I go, what's, what's your name? Uh, he says, Tom! Tom! Oh, I like Tom. him already. Tomlin, Tom, look, you guys have something in common! <laughs> and I, like pat, I pat his dad on the shoulder like, like we're best buds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 uh. I yeah. go over to Gilbert, it's all like, you better learn to tell better jokes. <laughs> The, uh, the the parents just laugh at everything you say because they are worried that their kids won't get a place at the school, you know? Very, very prestigious uh, school right, right. that you guys have, you know? Yeah, and I'm, I'm purposely oh, playing up the, the question of if, if he's like, and you guys would know, like we're playing up the question of if he's worthy or not. Of course he's worthy, because we're just going to take everybody's <laughs> money. <God. Yeah. laughs> but yes. we need to make it look, yeah, yeah, like maybe Authentic. he'll get down. Mm. I'd like so, to walk up to him and say, flex for us. Show us your, show us your <laughs> <laughs> How old is this kid? <laughs> I don't know, like 10. He starts like, oh, you know. I, I, I go, I go, so what kind of adventurer do you want to be? Uh, he says, oh, I don't know, like, uh, like a good one. That, like kills dragons and stuff. And I look at the other two and I go, that's exactly the right answer. All right, you're right. You're, you're just ready for us, I think. Uh, the dad's like, oh. He said well, the key word of dragon, that's well, all it takes. Well done, son. <laughs> and uh <laughs> I put out a, I put out my 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 grizzled old paw and, and go for a handshake of the kid and just rattle his arm. <laughs> oh and like a big man handshake. <laughs> Did you have to have that sort of handshake? Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> Um so obviously I um, can't feel my fingers. Obviously, something has to go wrong in this scenario, guys. So, underneath this line, I mean, underneath this line, in the chat, uh, you guys can have a viewer decision because we're all the subs already. So, uh, throw some ideas as to what could happen next. Obviously, you know, something should happen in this uh, in this scenario of all the kids and all the parents in the same room at the same time. So, uh, we, we should uh, go ahead and... I, I, know, I know I say this every time, but be nice, chat. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Be mean, chat. Be mean. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Give us your word. <laughs> what is up, Darth Vega? Yeah, you, you heard it, guys. They want the worst. So, um, yeah. Um, so you begin to like sign up the uh, the different kind of like uh, yeah, kids, um, and uh, the parents are all kind of like very thankful. They hand over like reserves of gold, you know, like stupid amounts of gold for what you're actually doing really uh, and they begin to you know teary farewells to their kids oh, see you later darling um, and uh, you know the kids are like yay swords <laughs> as like one of them's <laughs> one of them's got an insula <laughs> yeah you've actually noticed that one of the kids has gotten hold of like w one of a sword but it's somehow one of your real swords which you usually keep in like the training cupboard uh, has mm -hmm. has escaped into here and he looks like he's going to stab some of the other kids just to see what happens yeah, there's always that one kid. I, I race over, and I, I grab it out of his hand. I said, do you know what you're doing with that? Uh, he says, I don't know. Killing stuff? <laughs> You'll learn how to kill stuff the right way. You don't just stab, you gotta hit him here. And I just start <laughs> throwing him how you can dissect, <laughs> dissect a person, just... Oh! In the... <laughs> I would imagine the other kid that I'm fictitiously dissecting is just mortified. Yeah, oh yeah. Like the, the, <laughs> the, the little girl standing there like, ah! As you've got like, it's like real swords around to dissect the, the parents are looking on rather worriedly. Uh, Vicky, you know, it's time to get the, the parents away because real, you know, real lessons are beginning to be, be taught here. <laughs> God. How are you going to get your parent? how are you going to get the parents away? Um, well, can you leave me be, because I'm actually doing the straw poll as well. Oh, okay. So, Gilbert, how are you going to get rid of the parents? <laughs> so, um, so, I quickly try to get the attention away from what's going on with the kid with the sword, <laughs> and, I, and I, I run up to uh, the group of parents and uh, kind of go to the other side of them, to like the doorway, and I, and I look at them all and I put my arms out really wide, which is, really isn't there very wide, and my bright red flannel shirt is just glowing in the sunlight coming through the front door. Oh and I go, God. all right, parents, this is your time. Leave them to us. We will teach them all the things about being adventurers. <laughs> now you go back to the real world while we 
help your children. And I'm looking at the two of you like, I, guys, are you uh, good? Are we good? Just keep, keep doing it. You're doing all right. Keep going. You can uh, roll me a persuasion I'm... check if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Um... <laughs> two! <laughs> Nailed it. So, like, the, the parents are, like, worriedly watching as Tom Len, like, is dissecting one of their children, like, you know, if, if not actually dissecting them, but, like, seeing that happen. And, uh, you know, uh, and they're kind of like, oh, one of them's like, I'm not sure, maybe we should stay for the, the, the first classes just, just, to, just to see. And, and, and hearing that, I say, did you want to know how to adventure too? No, no, no. Extra. extra 17 gold each for adventure lessons for the parents. Let's do it. If the, if the parents want to join. And I I, I start listen, listing the syllabus as, as hard, hard manual labor. Just something that will do their back in within a day. Yeah, something that will just ruin them. <laughs> so, Any so, person over the age of fifteen, it would just ruin. <laughs> just absolutely destroy this person's body. Uh, Lolly, uh, oh, maybe, maybe we should should leave them to it. Um, are you sure? Oh, it seems like you're quite well equipped um, to, uh, to to do this on on your own. <clears throat> <laughs> well, all right. A wise decision. Well, okay. I mean, we'll make men out of these kids yet. Even the girls. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you do realize you said that when I could hear you horrible man. You <laughs> <just. laughs> Hello. Give me your address, I'll send you something horrible in the post. <laughs> <laughs> when somebody says, give me your address, <laughs> <laughs> something horrible. Hashtag anthrax. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you have to understand. Tom said this. <laughs> Tom was a grizzled old guy, you know. And let me, uh, yeah. you know, let a... women shouldn't be able to read. <laughs> Tell I mean, me you're fine, mate. You're fine. <laughs> tweet, tweet me the picture when you tweet me the picture when you get the package from Rachel. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to yeah. know what. <laughs> Question mark. Be like a dead rat or something. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, cousin demon? How's it going, man? So perfect. Um, you um, oh my god, these uh, viewer decisions are very close, guys. Pretty. I think they're tied at the moment. So break that tie. Yeah, rip your pose, man. So I'm, in, I'm intentionally not looking at the straw poll just to see what the options are. Yeah, for. yeah. So um, oh man. The uh, the kids could be worse. Uh, the kids quickly kind of like say goodbye to their parents, and they're left with you guys in the kind of like welcome hall. So where where does it go from here? Where do you guys take them immediately? Um, I imagine we would we would separate them into like three different groups, so we could each take them to a different cabin. Mm -hmm. Okay. How Introduce you... them to their to their living quarters. Yeah. So and to the people they will be grouping with, we'll just divide them into three groups. Nice. What the, uh, what are their living quarters like? Um, well, I, I suppose we each had our own cabin, right? So we should describe our own cabin. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah. The Tomlin cabin, the Gilbert cabin. Right, living, right, like, right, yeah. right. And I also think that throughout throughout the uh, the course of the year, we we have our individual groups of adventurers compete with each other's groups of adventurers. Definitely. Full on Hunger Games style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. So I, I take them over to my cabin, and I and I introduce them, and I go, "All right, you're Team Gilbert. Remember that, Team Gilbert." And I open up, I swing open okay. the doors, and inside <laughs> is like everything's decorated in wood, <laughs> and everything like like chopped and, and and carved, and even their beds are made out of wood. There's no <gasps> mattress on the beds. It's just wood planks. <laughs> And he gets to get the itchy blankets as well, like they get in the army, just so they're constantly on the guard and everything. Yeah. One, one of right, the right. one of the kids is like, uh, "Where's the uh, like the pillows?" Oh, you're supposed to bring your own pillows, or you can make one. The lessons in three weeks. <laughs> 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 oh, these poor poor children. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, 
I imagine he would have given him a stump <laughs> to rest around. I was going to say, yeah. he probably would have carved a nice bit of wood shaped like a pillow for them. I, actually, that's a good idea. So as each one um, <laughs> walks into the into the room with all their gear, I hand them each a log and yeah. I go, well, you can use it as a pillow or anything else you need. This is your this is your adventure log. <laughs> your multi-purpose adventure log. <laughs> it's your multi-log. Multi-purpose log. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Um, and uh, week five, make your enjoy the roll. Damn. <laughs> so um, yeah, immediately uh, you know the kids are like oh, okay, uh, and they're like when the lessons start. Oh, well, they're already started. What do you think we're doing now? Oh, <laughs> oh wow, that's really impressive. <laughs> um, so in Tomlin's cabin, what's, what does Tomlin's cabin look like? Tomlin's cabin is as bare bones as possible. Mm -hmm. um, it, has a, it has a dirt floor. It has it has a straw seat roof to it. Mm -hmm. um, you, could, you could tell that this cabin at the... The slightest spark would just set this entire thing ablaze. It is not fire safe at all. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> there, there's chickens and, and random barnyard creatures roaming in and out at any given point. Perfect, perfect. But it does have really nasty pillows. So, I mean, that at least they have pillows. <laughs> it has yeah. pillows. It's a plus. It does have pillows. And in fact, the kids are kind of going through this cabin. One of them. Uh, Finds your uh, your secret stash, um, so we're gonna we're gonna take this one. We might bring in the second one in a bit, uh, but I do want to bring in the, uh, the first one because I saw it break the tie first of all. So um, some of the, teach the children have found a teacher's secret stashes. Chaos unfolds. What exactly did they find? Sugar, alcohol, potions, up to you. Or so. Uh, in fact, I want to I want to actually see what would Tomlin have in his secret stash that the kids have found. In his if it's alcohol, it's mine. <laughs> it actually would be alcohol because I you have competing alcohol or competing oh, alcoholism going it, it would be it would be they would open up a back room to a moonshine a distillery that I'm going to use mm -mm. Nope. Nice. so some one of these kids like some of these kids are like what's this and like start downing your moonshine <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh. I, I, I take it real quick. I said these potions aren't ready yet. Uh, this, this is for <laughs> chemistry 101. We'll 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 be getting to that later. And I'm there's gonna. There's like to one kid who's like just. There's one kid who's just throwing up everywhere. Like no. he's just. Like, <laughs> this is what you get. This is what you get for not knowing what the potion is. That's number one of adventuring. Never take a potion that you don't know what it is. I think I'm gonna die. You might actually. <laughs> you might. It, it's got it, strong enough for these. Forms. You yeah, can't handle I, my I potions. I pick him up and I give him a hearty, just hell of a slap on the back. Like, <laughs> he just like vomits. And you're knocking him over. <laughs> and then you're like, "Hey, you're good, son. You're good." As he's like, you're, <laughs> I was like "You'll be fine. A little hair of the dog, and you'll get right on it." What would uh, What would Gilbert have in his secret stash? Um, he has a lot of money he's been storing up <laughs> that the others aren't, aren't aware of. <laughs> that was hilarious. Wow. So, um, uh, they... <laughs> so they open up my, my secret yeah, stash. Yeah, they open a secret stash and like, immediately start like, <gasps> and they start yeah, like, yeah. you know, kids... It's just like just... a trap door in, the, in like the floor underneath one of the beds. Yeah, and one yeah. of the kids like goes, what's uh, this? And uh, opens it up yeah. and sees like bags of gold. Shiny. Yeah. And <laughs> Mr. Gilbert, and I, and what's I, this? And like, I, I jump in there and I go, and I go, uh-uh, those are our rewards for good students. Put those back. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I close it. That and basically I, means you'll never see these again. And, and I make sure to lock it real good this time. <laughs> you nail it down. You're just like, these I'm are like, rewards for good kids. <laughs> yeah, like I'm like nailing These are the gold stars we hand out. <laughs> right, and I'm like, every adventurer gold wants stars. to find, every adventurer wants to find bags of gold. We'll see how well you guys do. But I already found them. <laughs> oh, but you have to be able to keep them too. You've already oh. failed your first lesson. Good job. Oh, oh. <laughs> the kid starts crying. Oh. <laughs> Suck it up, Pee Wee. <laughs> <laughs> All of the kids are like taller than me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah literally. Um, what about Vicky's uh, room, cabin? Okay. Um, 
probably marginally more comfortable than the others. Like they would actually have proper pillows and proper blankets. Mm -hmm. But it's just, like there's this constant stench of alcohol around everything. Legal alcohol, not home brewed stuff. <laughs> um, you know. And sort of like she has sort of like a bit of an attention to what's going on. So like she wants to teach the kids, but she kind of like has a bit of ADHD. She's not really all there, especially when she hears somebody mention moonshine from one of the um, nearer bunkers and just <laughs> starts sniffing out of the alcohol instead. <laughs> so they've, they've stumbled across your secret stash. What's inside? I'll give you three guesses. What's this yeah, long, rats. what's this long black <laughs> No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> just, just a whole squishy bag of dead rats. Oh. <laughs> dead children? <laughs> dead, dead children. You horrible <laughs> people, you all terrible, it. terrible people! That's what we store the ones who don't make it. <laughs> booze, let's just stick to booze! <laughs> Oh, why do I do this every week? You said gas. That was a valid <laughs> gas. I, yeah, well, you know, I thought you were going to take it seriously. Obviously, I thought wrong. Wait, what do, what do you guys in chat think? You got free guesses, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, is. God, don't ask chat. They'll come up with everything. That is a nightmare swarm. Oh. <laughs> Actually, it's not included. How it's dare a tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> why have you got a tentacle in here? <laughs> It's like flapping it around. Can it start <laughs> writhing by itself? That's your dinner for the thing. It starts like flapping itself around. <laughs> Looking at. It's so, like that's your dinner. You have to cook it. Get to it. Okay. <laughs> they immediately try and like set fires in the log cabin. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you well, like, just keep the fire away from the booze. So you've. That's uh... Fun. You've introduced <laughs> the top one rule we have. You've introduced the them to the, um, uh, you know, the log cabins. What what is like the first lesson that they that these guys have? So so, so they're still in our cabin. Well, I guess you know, like you've shown the cabins, and you like bring it back into like a communal space for like lesson one or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We kind of bring them into the center of the of the place. Gotcha. Okay. So um, I encourage them to hate the other teams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh so I I I bring my <laughs> bring my travel log out, put it on the ground and stand on top of it. <laughs> and I go I go, everybody gather around, gather around. I'm just right. glaring at him, it's like, do you really have to do this? <laughs> I go, All right, students. So we've divided you up into each of your own groups. And I go, Team Gilbert. Yeah <laughs> And then <laughs> And then you guys get your groups to change too. I was like, uh, no, I don't. I'm just, I'm just standing scowling in the corner. I don't care. I, I say, <laughs> Team Tomlin, and when no one speaks up, I angrily, Team Tomlin. <laughs> <laughs> and then we both stare at, stare at, uh, what's your name in this adventure? Vicky. <laughs> Vicky. Oh, thanks, Vicky. Vicky. We both stare we both at you. Vicky, just expect. So I'll, I'll, I'll encourage them by going, it's like, if you all cheer. I'll pay you with some alcohol later. What's alcohol? <laughs> it's yeah. good stuff, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they begin to. All right. Sounds like you're ready. So, for our first lesson, the team that can slay this team speaker, <laughs> this travel log that you've got, wins. And I, and I walk over to a a. a, a like a, a little cage yeah. that we've set up and I get behind it and I pull open the front the little thing and I, I let loose a rabid beaver Ravenous <laughs> 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 oh Frothing at the mouth perfect. yellow teeth just yeah, yeah. ravenous <laughs> yeah. Oh my god Oh dude so um <laughs> Team Tentacle <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't show your kids your tentacles, FBI is watching. Oh, God. So you uh, immediately begin to just kind of like unleash hell upon these kids. They're like, ah! Um, and immediately, like, kind of like run to like get weapons and stuff, you know, like from. I imagine you've got like just weapons lying around, Hunger Games style, that they have to like pick up and use and stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, really, yeah. yeah. They're all kind of just running away from the badger, which is like uh, the beaver, which is uh, is chasing <laughs> it's them. It's not a like, badger, it's <laughs> a beaver. The beaver's just like frothing out the mouth. Like, 
Visit, I'll just go up to Gilbert, like, strolling through this crowd of screaming children. It's like, you really should have set out the honey badger. Get them on their toes more. Yeah, As well, you, see, you see I'm several of the, the children... Maybe both. You see several of the children being bitten by the beaver as it's running around. It like, like, not, and like, ah, it's like bites and like nips them on the toes and stuff. And like, you see like some of the kids start to like go cut like act kind of weird, um, like <laughs> to start doing some like convulsion kind of things. Um, as the the and then they start to go around and start biting other children. Uh, and they're, they're kind of like oh, frothing out the mouth, and another kid just kind of oh, bites into another kid who like goes into another kid. Oh, by him and very quickly there's just all chaos as you've been training this uh, this rabid beaver for some time but it seems to have been infected with some kind of zombie disease where the other kids seem to be eating one another and turning everyone into zombies. That's the point, have we actually given this badger a name? That's a good idea. Chat? <laughs> Chat. Suggestions for a badger's name. Can it be Norbert the Angry Beaver? <laughs> Norbert the Angry Beaver. <laughs> Can we name it Donald? Like, yeah, no, it's <laughs> call it, call it Donald. Uh, Donald, Donald the Beaver. <laughs> um, oh. before, before we go into full-on epidemic, I'm going to pick up the log that he was standing on and knock him off of it, and just slam it on the beaver. Hopefully, hopefully, just squishing it. Yeah, you roll me uh, like a strength check to slam the beaver. To I'm slam just standing the so chill down nearby, just going so like. Does this mean we've got to use my alcohol to clean their wounds? Yeah. We've got Barney the beaver, Tentacle the beaver, Eagle the beaver, Dinky Winky, Crimple <laughs> Doug, I've, Dudley. I've never, I've never been forced to roll uh, to slam a beaver before, just for the record. Um, oh, come on! <laughs> mushrooms, fuckles. Oh, so I, I roll every time, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> seven. They love it. A big fat seven. <laughs> Uh, that is not very. That is not good enough. As um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck did I did I miss and hit a kid? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. As you <laughs> bring this and ah, as you hit this kid on the head in a very slapstick style, and the beaver continues to ram, like, you know, rampage round, uh, biting the kids. Who you know, they're in kind of full zombie mode at this point, uh, and you realize that <laughs> you guys are, are way out of. Uh, out of control. What what do we what do we like for the names? I like Fuckles and <laughs> I think Fuckles, Fuckles. is good. Oh great. Fuckles the beaver. Yeah, alright, Fuckles the beaver. This is just a tentacle. I mean there seems to be a theme going on here. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. So Fuckles the beaver. Um <laughs> So, uh, yeah, the, the kids are beginning to like turn into zombies very, very quickly. And you realize, you know, the, the, the parents um, will, will find out, you know, because this is losing a lot of money for you guys. You probably need to find some kind of cure. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, can I make an animal, animal handling check to try to coerce the beaver? <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Fuck was yeah. the angry beaver. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try as, as well. We're both gonna try and wrangle it. Yes. Wrangle oh. beef. I'm better with the beaver, Ron. <laughs> All, right. All right. Bro, let me take this beaver. You, you are a farmer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got this beaver rolled on. <laughs> and thank you to uh, Victorial Dias for following. Welcome. Or well, Victoria L. Dias for following. Our gentle lady and a scholar. Um, so a, a 22 is enough to straddle the beaver. And uh, you you take fuckles by the uh, by the collar uh, and just I mean do you want to like subdue it or like kill it or I, I want to throw him back in the cage for later use. Gotcha. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These you just can't get wild animals all over the place. These are expensive, especially rabid ones. I mean they're very rare. Yeah, of course. yeah you've been training I, this I one for some I go, time. I go. I go. Well, it seems to be turning them into zombies. Maybe maybe we can make an antidote from the beaver. I think I know just the antidote, and I I go off to my cabin to get as many bottles of moonshine as I can. Oh. <laughs> so the I'm kids, like, however, we're, are like we're you gonna lose money. <laughs> at, at this point, the kids, the zombie kids, like turn on you guys, and like oh brains, um, and uh, as they start to you know like march towards you guys very slowly. Tomlin, hurry up! They're at it again. I I come running back um, again. This has happened before. Yeah, for <laughs> most <laughs> most times this happened. <laughs> if this doesn't happen every time, I don't know what. The, um, 
should I roll any kind of check to see if I can't carry a barrel in? Yeah, roll me like a like a athletics to do this. Fuck, this is going to be my first person's name, male or oh. female. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, it's funny. So you just bring this whole like barrel of moonshine back, but you realize that the kids are, you know, zombie kids are kind of protecting their caged master, Fuckles. <laughs> um, <laughs> as a, uh, as a, yeah, actually, that's worthy. A, bunch of the, a bunch of the zombie kids like, open up the cage again, uh, and you've got like a tide of kids before you, um, like, you know, marching towards you guys. You've got your like three cabins behind you, um, and they're just like immediately kind of like marching over to you. Uh, maybe if we kill the beaver, it will fix them. No, that's not gonna work. Tame I... beaver, maybe kill it. They seem to be protecting it. I don't know. I, maybe that's maybe that maybe it's magical zombies. This is clearly a hive mind. We have to slay that beaver. <laughs> let's let's slay the beaver. Why? Why? The beaver is like behind like a hundred zombie children at this point. <laughs> you see Maybe him like he's just gonna keep on asking. He's like, why do we have to kill it? You, you see him like commanding the others, like <laughs> <laughs> he's standing on the log now, and he's like <laughs> hitting the table with his pad with his yeah. tail. Boom, 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 boom with his tail. <laughs> as long as it starts sounding like Warwick Davis, we're all right. Fly, um, my pretties! <laughs> 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 uh, can you, I am your lord, <laughs> Fuckles! <laughs> <laughs> Fuckles, your lord. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look I look directly at uh, Gilbert and I, I kind of nudge him to do something about the beaver since he's the one that let it go. Uh, I told you I, we should have used the honey pack. I, I, I tell him, the, the beaver was was less than three, not one. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! Less than one meant to be. <laughs> I always, my favorite one. I, I forget. <laughs> I forget. Every How to avoid becoming a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> um, what if we what if we run around them? They're really slow. <laughs> I. Can, well, like I, with a rope and tie them all up together. No, no, we, go, we run around the group and then we get to the beaver. <laughs> there's a zombie. There's a zombie kid on you at this point, going, launching itself towards you. He's gonna roll an attack roll. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's gonna be. Can a... I just breathe on it with my alcohol breath to try and put the kid off? It's a six. He misses. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! Um, um, um. Cool, quick. Let's go. Let's run back to the cabins. We'll figure something out. Okay. I, 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 can I make another check to make sure I can get my barrel of moonshine back out? Yeah, sure. <laughs> that was it's rolled all out, and they're gonna roll it back again. <laughs> if, can I, can I roll it so I say it's an advantage? <laughs> it's your thing, yeah, you can actually just roll the thing along. Oh. Let's see what we go. It's a 19. Oh, my god. <laughs> Ooh, I couldn't have advantage. So yeah, you, uh, you managed to roll it back inside. Which cabin are you in? Uh, Whose cabin did you decide which, to go uh, inside? Be the nearest. I think I think we head towards the big main cabin with all of our equipment and stuff. Okay, sure. Um, <clears throat> so you're you're inside. I imagine you like lock the door behind you, slam it shut, just as all these uh, zombie kids like banging on the door, like, <laughs> uh, and you hear fuckles outside <laughs> uh, as he begins to yeah, as Tall School said, begins to fashion wooden weapons with his teeth uh, to arm the children out of the logs. He's got. Like, <laughs> And he makes different swords for them and stuff like that, uh, handing them out to them. So you guys are stuck in. Can I see in... this through a window at all? <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. Can I curse the beaver just out loud? You goddamn beaver! <laughs> Get sure. off my lawn! <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> you were less than three. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be less than one. That's where we went wrong. Yeah. See, I'm not you guys. Good at counting, even though I teach math. <laughs> so you guys have a, a moment of uh, respite as you find yourselves locked inside your cabin with the zombies kind of like dum, 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 beating on your uh, cabin door. All right. Um, well, uh, we should try to not kill the kids if we don't have to because money, right? 
Well, because if we try and give them back to the parents, if they're dead, they might not like it. They haven't could, in the past. We could just say they failed. I mean, that's worked. This is a very prestigious school. True. I'm fully committed to the idea that this is like the best school ever, by the way. So, <laughs> we burn them? No, 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 no. We can't do that. The smell of scarred flesh <laughs> would go miles. Oh, okay. Um, Especially that chunky one out there. Whew. <laughs> the chunky kid? <laughs> God, yeah. oh, oh. I think he probably burned for a few days straight. I don't know that we want to do it. We'd never get him out. No, no. Oh. Um, um, well, what about. <laughs> the fuck, I was just misunderstood. <laughs> the the <laughs> caverns. Remember how we take the kids down in the caverns for adventuring? Remember that? Yeah. You know how sometimes down there we find magical items? So yeah. suggest we might find a cure for this zombie thing? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know how zombies work. You're making it sound like we have any idea. So I... Vicky just gets like a hip flask out, she just takes a huge swig. Ooh. Uh, do we have any vagrants still available? Any homeless that we we had in stock? <laughs> the last oh, one yeah. died two weeks ago. Oh. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> um, I, I, if we can find someone that we don't mind sacrificing to the kids, we can put the cure in that and just throw the body out, and then when the kids eat it, they'll be cured. That sounds great, but we need a cure first, don't we? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, all right. Let's, like um... The only cure I know for zombies is a good head whacking. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's no we no 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 no. Maybe we can whack the beaver too. <laughs> <laughs> you think okay, so so let's just discuss this here. You think if we kill the beaver, we'll stop the zombies? Is that worth trying? I think we need to get the beaver regardless. If we have to kill the beaver, then find a cure then that's fine, but if we even cure the kids, the beaver's still gonna be there, so we need to get the beaver. Right, all right. We're gonna so... need to gangbang this beaver. All right, let's... <laughs> let's go whack the beaver. <laughs> How do you plan to get outside of an army of zombie children being on the door? Um, are they completely surrounding the place now? Oh yeah, yeah, they're like all around it, like brrr, trying to like bust in the windows with their little hands and stuff, you know? Uh -huh. Is there any kind of, do we have any kind of hatch at the bottom or hatch at the top? Yeah, we we'll, can... say, we'll say that you've got like a hatch in the bottom which leads down into like your dungeons and then uh, maybe like a, a roof access via a ladder. Alright, we'll say, we'll say the ladder, you can see where the beaver is. We'll say the ladder is on the outside so you'd have to climb out a window to get to it, which would be very dangerous. Son of a bitch, I forgot the ladder's on the outside. <laughs> 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 Um, oh. I start walking down into the to the the cellar entrance. It, 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 I am imagining like a like a full old uh, basement where you go in one day and there's yeah. like a outside door. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I start going down there to try to try to figure a way out from there. Okay. So you you uh, you head on out. Um, are, there, are the rest of you guys um, following uh, Tomlin? Ooh, yeah. 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 We'll stick yeah. here. Okay, and uh, thank you to Jaina Solo for following. Welcome to the event, my friend. You're a gentle lady, a scholar. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But welcome. Don't, <laughs> don't assume the chat's gender. That's just. <laughs> You're a gentle trigger. scholar, <laughs> at the very least. Um, it could be J A Innes. Oh. That is true. Innes Solo. Yeah, J A. I'm Innes Solo. It's so, probably an author. Probably a writer. Most likely, yeah. Most yeah. likely. Um, so you, uh, you are, you're very welcome. <laughs> so you head down into the uh, the basement, uh, and uh, down in your basement, you've got all of the uh, the equipment that you need for kind of dungeoneering stuff. So you can like suit up and boot up here, and it leads down into your dungeon, uh, which is you know traditionally a way you do come across all sorts of magic items, and it is like an escape hatch out. Uh, which leads back into like the main like uh, like courtyard area which you were in before, um, if you could find the the correct ladder. But um, so you guys are down here, and there's a long corridor which uh, you know heads off down into the the depths of the dungeon. 
All right. Well, suit up, guys. I, I grab my armor and my, my shield and I, my I, stuff. I take great care to not get my good clothes dirty just that are filthy. Mm-hmm. So I just strip naked and start looking for uh, <laughs> my uh, my work clothes. Yeah. My, <laughs> and I grab my uh, my broken scythe handle. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you find your you know your armor and stuff. Uh, Vicky, anything you want to do before you uh, head yeah. on? Yeah, she, she'll get her longbow. She'll get her two swords. So I'll, like put them on her back. And she's just waiting for the others to get ready now. She's already in her armor, effectively, what armor she has. She's just having another swig of alcohol. She's she's ready to go. Nice, nice, cool. So, you, um, yeah, you begin to head down into the dungeon. Who's, what's the kind of marching order here? Um, well, I'm, I'm the fighter, so <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> I was about to say, we'll just push the halfling forward. <laughs> Onward! Oi! <laughs> so, you, uh, you head down in the dungeon with, uh, you leaving first. Who's bringing up the rear? Probably the rogue. Probably Vicky, okay. So, uh, you, uh, you head further in to Hey guys, the, uh... remind me sometime that we need a wizard. <laughs> we need to hire, like, a magic user. We, we tried to hire a wizard, they decided to fireball us out of his office. It didn't work. He was work. pretty pretentious, he was kind of an ass. I know, I know, but yeah. We need to find a non-pretentious wizard, which I don't think there are many of those. I don't think they make them. No, I think you're right. So you, uh, you guys come across a sound. You hear this kind of like down this corridor at the end of it. You hear this kind of like whimpering, like a (laughs) noise coming from like maybe like thirty feet ahead of you. Um, is it is it is it lit down here? I imagine we have sconces. And stuff. Yeah, you've already got some sconces. Yeah, it's like I, in I, in one of the alcoves. The sound is coming from. I go. I look back and I go, Vicky, is your boyfriend back? <laughs> oh, why is he back already? Hold on, have a look. And um, I'm gonna look from a distance. I've got dark vision. Does that help? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay, it's cool. it's I, your um. Do you want me to roll perception? <laughs> yeah, no, in fact, you don't even need to. Uh, what's your boyfriend's name? Chat? Gary. <laughs> Gary. Oh my god, it's Gary. Gary. <laughs> chat, chat, you decide what my boyfriend's name is. I don't have one at the moment. And, you uh, decide. Thank you to Ninth Freak Show for following. Welcome to the Avenger, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you for following us. Yeah, let's, uh... God of Lust or Madness. Yeah, I would work. Yeah, let's name, <laughs> let's name the, the boyfriend here, guys. So, um... You, uh, you see, it is him. He is whimpering in the corner. In darkness. Oh, God. It's a good thing you date, uh, wizard. I mean, you just said terrible things about wizards. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> <laughs> I've warned you. You don't mention that. Otherwise, i cut your ears off. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of, um... What race is Gary? Is he like yeah, Gary? Gary is a human, kind of a scrawny gentleman. No, he's a uh, he's like ridiculously well built. He's like he has five protein shades in the morning, kind of guy. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that. It's it's I... it's Gary from Dungeon. <laughs> it's Gary from Dungeons and Dads. If anyone has watched oh. that show, <laughs> right, fair enough. Can, can I just give him a good whack with my stick to try to break him out of his his stupor? Uh, yeah, he kind of like. <laughs> Uh, he uh, he looks up. Uh, yeah. So what are you doing down here? Uh, I I was just uh, you know, just like um, stalking. No, uh, no, uh, no, no. 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 He uh, he says, I I didn't think you'd be down here, Vicky. It was a real surprise to see you here. Wow. Yeah, I just, oh, I just well, happened to work this here. is That's this cool. is a real coincidence that I might see you here. Yeah. You were just walking down the street, mm-hmm. right? I was I was just sitting here cry I mean, I wasn't crying because you left me. Uh, I was just thinking about like maybe we could go and get dinner after I work out today. Because that's what I do. That's not a good time. We have a bit of an issue. But I, I I go I go there's a lot of protein back where we came from. Oh really? What kind? Children. Zombie children protein. I just smile and nod. Oh. And that's what he's already mentioned in chat. It's all like the fact that I'm playing again and there's children being about to be killed. I mean, uh, there's a... Mm. That's my favorite kind, thanks. Well, uh, 
Anyway, what's this like problem you said? Uh, yeah, the children are zombified. <laughs> oh, I thought we you said that was a protein. Beaver. Oh, <laughs> well, Vicky knows that I can do that. Am I right, Vicky? Am I right? You remember Gary, the why I dumped you? Here. No, why did you dump me again? Because you're an asshole. Oh. Yeah, got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, if you've got a beaver problem, it's probably, uh, well, y you probably need to, uh, check what the kids ate recently. Cause, like, uh, there was this, like, girl going around, this, like, lady who came around the towns recently. She was part of, uh, I don't know, like, the hag is company. She was kind of creepy. Looking back, I think she might have been a hag, but at the time, she seemed kind of cool. And she, like, turned everyone into zombies, so if anyone knows how to do it, and to, like, turn them back, I reckon it's her. Where, uh, do you know where she went? No. Probably, like, home. Or to, like, get more kids. Uh... <laughs> or to get more kids. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lean over and I go, I go, Gary, you're, you're looking really buff, man. Like, Thanks, look, man. and I start comparing my muscles with his because I'm a big, strong hey, halfling. you don't have any, like, uh, lube, do you? It's, it gets kind of, like... <laughs> Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Not, no, not lonely. I mean, yeah, I am kind of sad because Vicky left me, but what I mean just for, like, my skin, my muscles get kind of, like, you know, red. I'd like to, like, rub something on them. Oh, here, I got something for you, and I just smack him again. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I shake him. He likes it too much. He, like, he, like, genuinely, like, fist bumps you. He's like, thanks, man. Thanks, bro, I needed that. <laughs> Gary is a douche. <laughs> Gary's my favorite character to play. <laughs> oh man. So he says, so I don't know if you wanna like go find this haggis girl to give him like maybe maybe it could be like a bonding experience to me and Vicky again to like, you know, save the kids and shit, maybe have our own. I don't know. I think that's a great idea. A great idea, Gary. Shut up you. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Vicky, what, what did you ever? Us. You, know, you, ever this, guy, you huh? know what they say. You know what they say. Once you save a kid, you gotta have a kid, right? That's what I do. Right. Got it. <laughs> right. Right. Vicky, why did you ever leave this guy? Let's Gary, have kids. You're freaking awesome, man. Let's like, have kids. I bump him back. Let's have kids. <laughs> <laughs> you want, you want you think he's that awesome? You have kids with him. I <laughs> mean. Bumps. All right, so, we're bringing him with us. All right, let's go find this hag lady. We go from anger beavers to butt babies. It's... Uh, well, I don't think she's down here because I've been down here for a while and, and, you know, probably she would have heard me cry. More that's the point. Out. How long have you been down here? Not many weeks. I mean, days, hours, <laughs> minutes. God. Are you hungry, Gary? Yeah, yes. All I've had was <laughs> this cream. And <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> eating the cream? <laughs> what? Yes, I am. It ran out. All right, let's, I... go, let's go find you something to eat. Do I have a ration on me? Like a single ration? Yeah, sure. That I'd like to... Well, it's like some deer jerky or something. Do you have there. like the protein information on this? Because I don't know if I can eat it. It's, it's got 900,000 grams of protein. That's impressive. And he, he It's made out of nothing but solid bone. He, he immediately <laughs> My favorite kind. He, uh, he immediately uh, bites it off uh, and begins to, to eat it. So he says, I guess we should like find an exit. Cause she's not down here. I mean probably. Unless there are kids down here. Can I can I do some kind of like stealth or, or... Mm -hmm. Some kind of check to whisper to um to, uh, to Gilbert. Joe. Oh yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, what, what would I need to roll stealth or deception or? Uh yeah, like a stealth, I guess. Yeah. What are you trying to whisper? Eighteen. <laughs> uh okay yeah. What do you say to him? I say. Can I remove my headphones? <laughs> no, I say, um, 
I think we found our body that we can feed to the kids after we find the cure. I did not hear this. I did not hear this. I did not hear this. I, no. I just, I just, I just kind of nod and give him a thumbs up, and I go, <laughs> "All right, let's go." <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So you guys head off. Uh, our remaining folks in the chat at this point, if you're new, hit that follow button and join us. We have 20 followers today. You guys get to throw something into our story with a viewer decision. So go ahead and do so if you haven't already. And also here is the tweet once more for you guys to get um, 20 retweets and we'll have a viewer decision happen then. So um, let's uh, let's dive back into things. So you guys head down the, uh, the dungeon uh, tunnel. And uh, you immediately, uh, you know, come to like the ladder which leads up into the main courtyard. However, it's probably going to be in a place where the zombies are, unless the zombies are still around the building, uh, so they might not notice you. But you'd probably have to go fairly carefully to avoid detection. Uh, so Gary says, uh, "So do you like uh, want to go first, or shall I like go first? I mean, Vicky, I'll go, I'll go first. yeah, you go first, so I can look up your yeah. No, I mean, yeah." You do that. Walk down there, about okay. hundred meters. Right. In about ten years, you can come back. Uh, I'm already, I'm already <laughs> waiting for her to go up the ladder so I can stare. Her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. okay. I'll be out in, still? I'll be out in ten years' time. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <nice. laughs> um, you remember like stealth check if you want to go quietly, yeah. Yeah. Twenty. <laughs> Uh, nice, yeah, so you kind of like open up the uh, like the trap door at the top and you look out and you see that all the kids are around like the, the building still um, <laughs> like kind of reading their yeah, way in they, they haven't noticed you So yeah. I, I, I whisper down to the guys and sort of, okay, they're at the other end just stay quiet Okay, can I stealth roll up? Yeah, can we all sneak definitely. out? Yeah, definitely, stealth checks <laughs> Nice, actually really good. So, um, the, uh, the group of you start, uh, heading out, uh, and Gary kind of follows nimbly behind, uh, as the, uh, the group of you begin to, uh, escape from the, uh, the school area. And so, very quickly, you're into, like, the forest, like, the woods where, you know, the, sc the school's, like, in a clearing, I imagine. Uh, and, uh, you guys are kind of out in the woods, so Gary's like, So, I guess, like, uh, you know, this hag girl might be like, uh, like in a town. Maybe we could like ask around or something. You sound like you know an awful lot about this hag girl. Well, yeah, but I, it got pretty lonely after you left, you know, Vicky. So uh -huh. you take what yeah, you can get. Yeah. When like a sixty-year-old hag comes along, you're like, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. I feel better. You're welcome. I I I, I nudge Vicky and say, you were the second option. Yeah, you can shut up as well. <laughs> can I high-five Gary? Earlier? Cutting off ears? That can apply to you. Can, can I please high-five Gary? Just a just quick... Just... <laughs> Got it, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I look at Gary and go, I go, so how, how was she? Pretty wrinkly, actually. Mostly, just... <laughs> but you're, like, into that, right? Oh, uh, no, no. I mean, I like a bit of crust, but not that much, you know. <laughs> Vicky knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so um, a bit of bit crust. Of okay, there it I mean, I'd I say don't know, I don't want to know. I mean, pretty bad. So you know, like six out of ten, maybe. <laughs> Wait, is the hag or is me? I was about to say, if the hag was a six out of ten, what was Vicky? <laughs> <laughs> He, he, he just remains silent and walks on. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I follow oh. behind him. Alright, so, um... You guys, where, where are you guys headed? Because Gary's just, like, walking in a random direction. Are you going to try and go to, like, the nearest town? Which is, like, probably where the, the parents mostly live, you know? A kind. Uh, and oh, thank wait. you to Von Start, who donates £10. Says, As Gary inspires me, I shall inspire Gary. Actually, I just want to donate for the GPU. Thanks, my man. I appreciate that. Thanks so much, dude. And uh, <laughs> I will uh, have Gary be inspired <laughs> for, on his next rolls. So yeah, um, so do you want to head to like, the nearest town to get some information about this hag woman? Of course we would know that the nearest yeah. town is, is in what direction and, and how yeah, far. Yeah, you know exactly where it is, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. But is it really such a good idea to go that way since all the parents will be there? We'll just have to. About their kids. Have to have a cover. Hey, what's up? Uh, oh, fun in here, you fucking troll, dude. <laughs> Uh, Eric, can we can we trust you? No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't trust him. I can tell you that right now. You can't trust him. I mean, <laughs> I trust. Give me. me one very good reason to trust you. Uh, I'm here. Yeah, you've been hiding under where I work for weeks. Because I love you. Oh God, love. Love you again. <laughs> Can you get Vicky? Can you get him to to we just wait outside of the building he needs? Oh wait, we could just tell the parents that we we're here for supplies. Yeah, yeah but we're all here. The kids are on their own. Yeah, we have we have hired staff. The staff. Yeah, we could just say they didn't meet everybody. They just met yeah. the head the teachers. I'll be a temp. <laughs> I'll play a temp. <laughs> right, Her, there is the temp. Play nothing. Fine. That's good. Let's just let's just go into town. See see what we can find. All right. So you guys head into the uh, the peaceful, sleepy town, um, and uh, <laughs> oh, you know, there's all sorts I, of. I just whisper um, to Gary as we go in. It's all sort of like temps don't flirt with the staff, so be careful. Uh, actually, they do. They actually sleep. No, with they the staff. don't. Not this one. No, they sleep with the staff all the time. Trust me. You'd be so lucky. They did. The and, and old hags too, huh? They they marry the staff mostly. <laughs> so. <laughs> He doesn't fist bump me back. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you guys head into the town. It's like a merchant square, basically, and there's all sorts of uh, things being on sale at the moment. So, um, you know, the people. Uh, come, one of the uh, the parents kind of recognizes you. He's one of the merchants. He's the the, the fat merchant from uh, before. Uh, and also thank you to Piopa for following her, a gentleman. And a scholar, but yeah, he says, um, "Oh, wait! Aren't you meant to be teaching my children?" <laughs> uh, Are you questioning our teaching methods? Sir? Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Question his posh British accent, though. <laughs> kind of, kind of, um, kind of, yes. Uh, which which kid was yours, sir? Tom. Oh, that's right, that's right, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is he the chubby one? <laughs> the chubby Did you ask that was well, out of character? Uh, well, well I, I that suppose... That was totally in character. Oh. I suppose may, maybe. Um, sir, can I can I tell you something we normally don't tell the parents until much later? Uh, of course, yes, you can trust me of anything. I won't tell anyone. So you're, um, just so you should know, we've noticed that Tom is a natural leader, and we're putting him in a, par a specific section of our of our class and our teaching in order to really refine his leadership skills he's he's probably the best student we have right now so um we have some other staff that come in to watch the students and, and do some things with them and just just so you should know we're picking up some extra special supplies just for your for your son he's going to be a real a real leader is he, yeah he's a real go-getter that one roll persuasion <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, in fact, do wrong with persuasion, Jeff, because he's trying to, he's finding this hard to believe because Tom is like, you know, 15. the nerdiest kid. He's like, oh, really? I never knew, I always knew he had it in him. What, 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 can, what do you need? Just to confirm he is the chubby one? Yes. <laughs> that I mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> we'll get that off of him if we have to carve it off and I give him a really oh! solid, give him a really solid nudge. <laughs> Gary's like, yeah, I just totally. start laughing for no. <laughs> He's like well, nervous, nervously laughs along. Uh, uh, uh. So, so what supplies did, did you need? Well, sir, uh, we uh, we we'll, we don't really reveal our our trade secrets. It, it's the reason our school is so prestigious is because the methods are secret. <laughs> right, but I, I I suppose I you'll need to give me something in order to. I, can I roll an intimidation <laughs> check um, to, see, uh, to see if I can intimidate him off of not wanting this answer? I'm, I'm just going to lean up to Gilbert. It's like, where did you learn a word like prestigious from? <laughs> I, um, I heard, heard one of the parents say it one time. It was, it was, uh, it was useful. Yeah, remember that word. You can, you can roll me an intimidation, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So oh, he he's not he's not buying it. He's not buying it at all. Oh gosh. Um, I say, well, if we're gonna be honest, the training is pretty rigorous, Ooh, and man. they might need some extra healing potions. Right, right, healing. That that makes sense. And thank you to my scorp for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. And he says, uh, healing potions. Well, I have plenty of those. How, how many would you need? Um, at the opportunity to get free healing potions, I'm. Uh, <laughs> how many can you spare? Oh, I can hand you. Uh, well, at least Tumlin, these. Tumlin, we need to see the hag. We can't just stop for healing potions. These free here. I can. Uh, yes. Three. Well, thank you, sir. That'll be come much credit. We'll make sure. Uh, your boy. Who is your boy again? <laughs> the, the, the chubby one. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, the portly fellow. <laughs> like his old papa, and I smack him on the shoulder again. Oh, God. <laughs> Just imagine you slapped him in the air on the butt. <laughs> before we leave, before we leave, I, I, I lean over and go, um, do you, I've got another question for you. Something completely unrelated to anything going on currently with the camp and whatever. Right. You happen to know news, news about an old hag and maybe some food that she was giving people and oh some... my wife you call your wife a hag <laughs> oh i just assumed that that might be her um maybe, maybe not um no her, her cooking isn't Is quite about up. 60 really wrinkly kind of dry a little crusty well, no, she's 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 getting there, uh, but but um, let me di let me direct you to the, uh, the 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 restaurant in town, the uh, welcome, <laughs> the Inky Tentacle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Inky Tentacle. Okay. And uh, uh, right, th thank you so much. This has nothing. Again, this has nothing to do with what's happening right now. Your, your child's perfectly safe. Everything's fine. Of course. Everything's fine. Did fine. I mention everything's fine? I everything's fine. three times. And. Uh, <laughs> Thank you to Renfrope and the Rayipsa for following, uh, gentlemen and scholars, thank you for joining us today. So, um, he says, uh, yeah, he kind of points you towards the Inky Tentacle, um, and uh, inside, uh, I guess you guys head there immediately? Yes, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. So you guys... um, can I, on the way, can I dish out the potions to S3, and if Gary asks for one, I just slap him with my stick again? <laughs> totally. Good. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry, bro. And, There's uh, no protein in these. Yeah. Tumblin, if you want to slap him again, go ahead. Don't need to ask permission. And uh, thank you to Phantom for following. You're also a gentleman and scholar. Follow train. Uh, that's our schedule for the there. My scope and down below is my schedule as well. Uh, five days a week, uh, every week. So yeah, um, the. Um, that you enter inside and there is a mind flayer at the bar, just kind of like tentacles going uh, going into these different drinks which he's serving. He's actually stirring different drinks with his like tentacles, like just kind of like yeah. making them for the patrons at the bar. It's a pretty dark that is kind awesome, of for the record. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty kind of like dark, dingy sort of tavern. Uh, and he kind of looks at you guys and says, new patrons." <laughs> Whoa! Look at his beard. <laughs> He like you he begins, we, he begins to flap it for you. Oh yes, the cheapers come in to get pissed. Had <laughs> your day with dealing with these kids. They're already uh -huh. pissed. We don't need any of that. Yeah, yeah you just sit down and order a drink. We should bring them here yeah. as we suck out their brains. <laughs> 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 good job, nah. good job. I'm not really kidding. Nah. Kid. I do Seri that. Seriously, though, bring the kids. Nah. I'm really hungry. Nah. <laughs> so, um, how can I help you? <laughs> he leaves. He, there's an awkward silence for a second. And he... So. <laughs> um. Yeah, I. Uh, can I order uh, an order of fried calamari and um. <laughs> and, and order a drink just completely off of the task at hand <laughs> yeah totally yeah he uh he, he serves you up some calamari pretty sharpest but also wow. goddamn, looks like we just hit 20 
retweets on that tweet, guys. Good job. Good job, fellas. So, uh, what we're going to do now is these guys are in the Inky Tentacle Bar with an Illifid, uh, aka Mind Flayer, uh, barman, and they're looking for information on the hag who knows how to turn children into zombies and back again, hopefully. So, underneath this line here in the chat, if you guys could throw some ideas as to what could happen next, in our adventure, that would be great. So maybe the Illifid attacks. Maybe the Illifid has uh, some information on exactly where the hag is. You guys can decide, and we'll get it into a straw poll. The most popular decision will happen, and we'll have another one in just five followers' time. And when that tweet hits, 13 retweets. We'll do that now. Um, I and just from, go ahead. Eight kids. Don't vote because we need to. Say, we need to get. We need the money from these kids' parents. <laughs> True. <laughs> so. Um, so, yeah, he says, how can I help you? Um, I just, I just munching my calamari and, eat, and drinking my, uh, grog. Yeah. We're looking for a hag. Any ideas? Uh, look in the mirror! <laughs> uh, Very good! And, and, and Gary's like, high five him. High five. <laughs> yeah, he's like, high fives all around today, aren't they? <laughs> fist bump, bro. Good, good one, bro. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> He, uh, he says, oh, but, uh, what kind of hag are you looking for? Probably the one that likes to zombify children. Have you had any um, food oh. competition lately? Ah, we did have a haggis competition recently. There was a, a hag coming round. At, at the time, we didn't realize she was a hag. Looking back now, it seems rather clear she was. She <laughs> said that she was going off to the east, to a small hamlet village on the coast. That sounds like our our hag. Could be her. Could be her. Might not be. Maybe not. But probably. But possibly. <laughs> Maybe it's a red herring. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. I like this a little bit more than Gary. <laughs> Can you start start hitting on him in front of Gary? No. Start hitting on him in front of Gary. <laughs> Savage. I'm busy doing straw poll. I'm busy. <laughs> Damn it. You know, uh, if, you, if you're in the mood for hags, this hag over here is recently single. <sighs> Thanks, Trevor. The, uh... <laughs> he goes, um... Oh, really? What's your name? Don't ask. I'm not in the mood. What's her name? It's don't ask. I'm not in the mood. It's a really strange name. Oh, it, it, that's, yeah. that, that was her maiden name. Her name's Vicky. Gotcha. Oh, that makes sense. Mm. Well, uh, Vicky, it's a pleasure to meet you. If you want to come by, get some calamari, feel free. <laughs> I'll, I'll bear it in mind. Is <laughs> calamari innuendo for something? Oh, for God's sake. In the, in the elephant culture, absolutely. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a long tradition of oh, this is very very sacred amongst their people um, wait i understand the tentacle in her room now yeah oh that makes Shut up. oh that makes sense he says wait you've got what in your room i knew i was missing one he likes looks down at his beard and there's like there's a there's a stump where like there is no there is no tentacle on his beard he's like there's just one like bold spot on in, in his beard oh yes it's like a <laughs> Like that. I think we have a match. <laughs> Look, I don't have any tentacles in this one. <laughs> How did you get a hold of my tentacles? He's like, looks pretty angry now. Uh oh. And I think, where I think have he's you? Trying to play this off like it's no big deal, but I think we figured out what's really going on. Where have you been putting it? <laughs> I was gonna make a really crude joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, say, uh, can I try to distract him with, this is wonderful, uh, calamari here, and I, <laughs> I hold up a piece. Uh, roll me a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the most persuasive. Oh. This guy. This guy. Twelve? Twelve. Um, so, um... Not, not really good enough because he seems to still be very focused on, uh, on Vicky. Um, it's sort of different to Lithid. Nice try. 
she has a thing for the elephant man, and she I I give him a hearty pat on the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, so I love that so much. Yeah. And thank you to my friendly guy Twitch for following. Welcome to the really adventure, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. So um, the um, okay, it's a it's an interesting little straw follow we have here. Um, and uh, he says, very well. I want it back immediately. I already told you, it's not yours. I haven't even met you before. Well, someone took it from me. It wasn't me. Well, it's mine, and I want it back. <sighs> Fine, I'll send it in the post. Well, you know, we could just tell him where to go to get it. Are you going to send it in the post to uh, Zartard? You said you're going to send it saying <laughs> horrible in the poster. <laughs> if I get a writhing tentacle in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Profoundly entertained. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so, so I, I lean in and I go, well, we're not exactly headed back there to go get it, but if you want to go get it yourself... Well, uh, you might want to go later. Yes. Uh, you might want to go later. Uh, what was your name? Ribbles. Ripples? Gribbles. G R I B B L E S. Well, Gribbles, it's it's a pleasure to meet you. You're an awesome, awesome. You've got an awesome establishment here, and thank you for the information on the whereabouts of the Hag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, ooh. <laughs> I just shove the last little bit of, of calamari in my mouth and I just walk out. Um, and, uh, it's, it's at this point that you, um, you turn around, um, oh, and no. can you roll me a, a quick perception check, please? <sighs> ah! Uh, damn, 18, goddamn. So, you, um, <laughs> You look around, and like hiding in the corner, there's this very old lady uh, who's like got this like big hat over her eyes, and she's got a newspaper up uh, as well. <laughs> I love you, cat. I love you. <laughs> and and oh. she's just like. She's. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to stop. And say, ma'am, ma'am. No, no, I, I. No, that's I'm not a man. <laughs> I'm a man. I, I look over. I look over at him and I go, uh, "What? What's? What? Are you, who's? What are you doing? What's that?" I, I say, "Ma'am, can you read? Cause that newspaper is upside down." <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I like it I... this way. <laughs> there's, there's two little eye holes in the newspaper where she's like. <laughs> <laughs> She's like looking can, out. Can can I uh, can I call the rest of them over here? Yeah, sure. something something's fishy about this lady. All right, here, let me let me go look. And I I, I duck down like below table level mm -hmm. and just try to walk oh, underneath God. the table and just kind of come up right next to her. <laughs> Creepy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me. <Yes>. Fuck. <laughs> I don't want to get a good look at her. Yeah. Like, you you have a look at her. Yeah, this is some kind of very old lady, like big crony nose, warts everywhere all over her face, gray, like very thin hair. Alright, and then yeah. I, I walk back to the group and I go, It's a hag, alright. No, I, I no, what... no, it's not. No, it's what not. What did I tell you about manners? Oh, I, did I say that really loud? I'm sorry. This, yeah. I'm sorry, hag. <laughs> oh. I, I say, ma'am, can we talk to you for a moment? Uh, I, I'm rather busy right now. I can tell who's who, who's winning the the uh, the pigskin game. Uh, I see you have it open to the sports. Yes, it's it's my favorite team. West, <laughs> West Hand. <laughs> the the Arsenal are winning. 
oh, is that a real-time newspaper? And I just grab it from her, and I've never seen a real-time newspaper. <laughs> it's like a magic. It's like a magic newspaper. It's like one of those Harry Potter ones. <laughs> like uh... yeah, that just constantly switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, I take the newspaper from her and say, "Listen, we need to talk." Um. She she like looks up at you. Oh, what do we need to talk about? Do you know anything about zombie kids? And I go, yeah, zombie kids. I'm I'm trying to look intimidating. Yeah, she like looks all the way down at you. <laughs> Is he one? <laughs> no. no. Guess again. He he's my very astute teaching companion. That's right. Part of the staff at our school, and there was a little mishap with, uh, uh... Keep trying. Fuckles the Angry Beaver. Yeah, oh. Fuckles the Angry Beaver. I'm afraid I don't know anything about Fuckles the Angry Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying Man. to tell us you don't have an Angry Beaver? Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> Thank um, you for making that joke. Oh, we passed the watershed time already, <laughs> I mean. She, uh... She says, uh, um, I, what does that have to do with me? We, we hear around town that you know something about fuckles, and you know something about zombie kids. Zombie yeah, kids. zombie kids. Well, you, you heard wrong. Not me, different tag. Um, are we in a secluded part of the bar, like off in the corner? Sure, yeah, she's sitting in a dark corner. Okay, okay. Just yeah. Okay, can I, can I just try and egg Gary on to talk to her to get the information out of her since they've had a bit of a thing in the past? Sure. Yeah, how do you, what do you say to Gary? Just like, Gary, go over there and hey. talk to her. Tell us what you can find out. Go on. I mean, I don't know. Like, I went there For once. Time's sake. It's a slippery slope. One minute you're talking to her about the pigskins, the next she's all up in yours, you know? And I, I look over at Gary and I go, I go, Gary, Gary. Good cop, bad cop, right? You gotta be the good cop, buddy. I don't know if I can be good. Oh, well, you can. Uh, okay. You know you can. You did it in the past, remember? No. Oh, man. I'm I getting do. out of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he says... <laughs> he says, uh, all I remember is, like, the emotional abuse. <laughs> so... And, I remember so much more than and, that. And the drinking, Vicky. All you do is drink. It was my way of coping when you left. No, I well, What's yeah, but but I left because you started drinking, Vicky. You know it is. You know it's true. You didn't talk to me. You didn't tell me. How was I meant to know? So at this point, are like the three others of us, including the old hag, just sitting there <laughs> just watching, watching, watching this? <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> just like <laughs> silently watching this really awkward conversation. Like we're like we're <laughs> all the third wheels on just. <laughs> she is. Uh, he says. Um, but you know, I mean, it could be good again, like it was before. You just you need to. You need to quit the drinking, Vicky. I might be able to do that, but talk no, to the hag for you know, me. She's not listening need, to us. You need to make promises, Vicky, this time. I can't be hurt like you hurt me before. I will try and cut the drinking out. No, you gotta promise me. I'll promise to try. I to start actually it. reading the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> when I can. Okay. Try to avoid it. I will talk to the hag now. He, uh, he looks and he says, What's up, baby cakes? And uh, she, <laughs> she she says, uh, "Oh, hello! Good to see you again, Gary." Oh, hello! <laughs> and uh, it's now Cheryl. And uh, he he says, um, <laughs> he says, uh, "So we're looking to know how to turn these kids back into like normal kids, you know, because they're like zombie kids right now." And she goes, oh, well, I suppose maybe I could help out for a little bit of uh, TLC. <laughs> and I start rubbing on her. Wow. Just, uh, <laughs> real, just <laughs> real awkwardly caressing. Oh, my God. So, so now, now, that, now that you guys have had that conversation and this is happening, oh. Gilbert's just getting progressively more creeped out by the whole thing. <laughs> and I start oh, yeah, rubbing. <laughs> and I <suppose. laughs> Oh man, so um the 
Uh, Gary says, okay, but like, you gotta tell us first. Uh, and she says, well, how did they get turned into zombie kids? And he says, good point. Like some kind of beaver, right? Just like how you do it. Uh, and, uh, and she says, ah! I say fuckles. Ah, fuckles. yes, fuckles. This beaver I have no prior knowledge of before. <laughs> well, <laughs> Uh, the only cure <laughs> that you'll be able to find for your children <laughs> is, and uh, everyone kind of like leans in, and uh, she says, the juice of fuckles. Uh, fuckles juice. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not oh, fuckles no. juice. How are we gonna get that, guys? Son of a bitch. And you're you're going to have to go sun-dried tomato on that bitch. <laughs> really, <laughs> really get the juices out. I look over at Tom and I go, "Well, you've got the animal handling, right?" Yeah, I've. I back in the back in my old village, I had to squeeze a few beavers. Oh. You gotta you gotta squeeze the beef. Mm. Well, <laughs> it's like a Polly Shoreline or something. Right next to me right now. <laughs> Get them glance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Are guess you? thank you for your information, Hag, and uh, I'll be seeing you. Maybe depends how things work out with Vicky, you know. Give 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 the lady a kiss. Come on. Give her uh, a big old one. Come on, plant one on I'm her. I'm glaring. Oh uh, no. Because I'm faithful to my girlfriend, who's an alcoholic. <laughs> 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 That's right, I said girlfriend. And uh, <laughs> he like, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't kiss her. All and, right, uh, so we have to find the beaver. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've been we've been away from camp so long. Do you think they're they're plotting a resistance? <laughs> I bet. <laughs> oh, by this time, is... by this time, she'll have trained them up into warriors. She'll be like a clone <laughs> army, <laughs> right? Uh, um, maybe, maybe we can. How, how can we get past all the kids so they won't notice? Maybe we can get something in the village and disguise ourselves to get past the children. Can I? Can I try to whisper to to Gilbert again? Sure. Uh. Squeeze my bees. <laughs> Good luck. I, 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 I whisper to him, "Let's get Gary to run around as a distraction." <laughs> okay. <laughs> a meat, a meat distraction, and I, I wink at him. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if we, maybe, maybe if we catch his pants on fire to make him run around or something. Do you, do you have a tinder box? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I, I work with wood. Of course, of course I have a tinder box. <laughs> what are you two whispering about back there? Yeah. We're talking about getting the wood ready for the beaver. Yeah. Are you guys, right. are you guys like lovers? I the think beaver? so, they've been talking like yes. this now. Oh. Oh, oh, him, him and me. I thought you meant the beaver. Yeah. Oh. That's weird. Okay. Oh. No, you two have been whispering a lot to each other. You must be dating. Why don't you just admit it? This changes everything. <laughs> All right, we're dating. Fine. We're, we're, we're dating. Of course. Oh. Sorry. Sorry we had to hide it. Is that still legal? Screw what's legal. I mean... It's, it's about love, Gary. It's about what feels right in here, buddy. It's about what feels right in your heart. Oh, okay. Got it. So it's not legal. Gary, <laughs> <laughs> wait, Gary, before you... I thought I voted to delegalize that, but okay. It's legal just across the border, it's fine. Oh. Who's letting Gary vote anyway? What the heck? Yeah, I was gonna say, Gary is the type of voter, I assume. Um, <laughs> oh, he's the biggest clown left. <laughs> Gary, Gary, we're in this predicament with the voting because of people like you, man. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> he, he goes for a fist bump. <laughs> You're still in I, it because I, of me. I I think you might be challenging you for more stupid. 
<laughs> got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> he takes it as a couple. <laughs> I, 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 let's, 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 let's go smash that beave. Let's go, let's go squeeze the beave. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. And <laughs> so immediately you head off and the, the hag is like, do call. Um, <laughs> just, you have telephones for some reason. And uh, you start um. heading back to your, uh, your school camp. So, uh, what's up, little black? So you return uh, to the, the kind of outskirts of your school camp. Uh, and you see that all of the uh, zombie children um, have uh, armed themselves and are like in full armor, and they are actually doing like full parades around like the street. Uh, very kind of. That's uh... <laughs> obviously to say like they built a barricade and everything. Yep. The towers. They have. On. Yeah, they have. Uh, a this full... has become like Nazi Germany. This has become the... Nazi. Germany. <laughs> 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 They're yeah, all there's... like swan marching around. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. I was about to say, fuckles turn these <laughs> turned our camp into Auschwitz? <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's more like Berlin, like Berlin in like World War II. Like, there's like parading oh. soldiers going everywhere, you know. It's like very organized stuff going on. And they have wooden on. swords and shields. Wooden swords and shields that have been chewed out from the beaver. Uh, and yeah, full on like palisades around. You have trained them I'm, well. I'm really impressed with the woodworking, by the way. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> nice. they, they've taken some good lessons right there. <laughs> Wow. So, so you're on the outskirts. Gary's like, uh, so they've got like a palisade wall. How are we gonna get inside? I, I, I look at Tomlin and then I kind of try to motion towards Gary. You look at yourself. You look oh at yeah, Tomlin? yeah, yeah. I look at Tomlin in the mirror and just admire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, and then. Bloodstone is right, actually. Like, you, you take a moment to look at the school and you're like, actually, this beaver is a better teacher than we ever were. <laughs> that would be the realization. It's like, how did this beaver get these kids so organized so quick? If there's any way, if there's any way to cure the beaver and hire it to be part of the staff for the rest of the year, you should, you should try. Maybe my distillery can distill the beaver juice and we could just... Feed it back to the beaver. Make the beaver. Oh! The beaver. <laughs> we could cover ourselves in the nice beaver juice, and and maybe the kids will uh, think that we are its leader. Guys, I think you might be really fucking weird. <laughs> Shut up, Gary. I'm inclined to agree with you. That's right, my love. <laughs> All right. Well, you know how you know how he had those different pathways that go underneath the. Uh, the camp. Maybe we can just take one of those underneath the palisade. What do you think? Go find out where the beaver is first. I bet it's in the middle. Yeah. Because that's where leaders go. I think it, it might be the safest place. Not so near the middle. I think it might be in that Third Reich temple they've built. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! They have temples. Is this a beaver? Like Looks like it. <laughs> might be in the uh, the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jared, I mean, how did you get so good at navigation? Uh, I don't know. Don't don't ask think, me. Ask the hag. <laughs> I mean, you found the way into our dungeons without us noticing. You know exactly where these <laughs> the, the beaver rituals are going on. What can I say? I've been planning for this kind of continuity since day one. I've always I said. Our, I think he knows our place better than we do. I've all I well. I have been hanging it. out there for a while. I don't think <laughs> we might have to hire him. <laughs> well, oh, I thought, I'm a gym is, teacher. Weren't we, gonna, weren't we gonna let them eat my... Maybe we should douse him with the beaver juice and let the kids eat him. But you need a beaver juice first. And you didn't hear that, Gary. I was whispering. <laughs> but you're just talking out loud right next to me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try to distract Gary. Just oh yeah, well yeah, we should definitely check that temple. Right. All right let's, Got it. Um, so can we can we get in through or do we have to sneak? There's like a through? there's like a palisade wall on the outside that they built. Yeah. So you're gonna have to like climb over that somehow. Okay. Or there um, is like a gate which there are like guards on it, zombie guards. Can we try and find the quietest place around the palisade and try and sneak over that bit? Or maybe like tucked behind a building somewhere or something. Okay. Yeah, let's let's go for that. All right, I'm gonna need some help. I've got these little uh, halfling arms. 
I'm pretty strong, but... I'll help you. So I just, like, lock my hands and give him a, a foot up so he can go first. So nice. can I can I try and climb over? Yeah, yeah. Just the strength check? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd give you, like, an athletics bonus on it as well. All right, so we'll do... If you have uh, athletics. Yep. There you go. 16. Nice, yeah. So you um, um, immediately just, like, climb on over. Uh, and you're in, you're in the other side. No one's noticed you at this point, but you're over. The rest of you are on the other side, however. All right, it's clear. Come, come on over. G- come on. Okay. Gary climbs over. Uh, I guess we'll wait here in silence for the other guys to come. Uh, this is kind of awkward, Gary. Um, I like guys, her. come on, get it. Guys, do you, have, do you have any more of that cream? <laughs> oh, I, I uh, yes. Here you go. Can you, like... Don't... I don't want to get my hands, like, slippery. Do you, do you think you could do it? <laughs> oh, God. I don't know oh, God. taking them so long. Oh, God. I, I feel bad because I think we're probably going to sacrifice him, so I kind of... <laughs> I mean, it's like a... It's... <laughs> It's like a last like, supper kind of deal, you know, like... Uh, oh, all right, right here. All right. Uh, yeah. and, and then I started admiring his muscles because I like... I, I have big, strong muscles, too, and I'm into working out. And, and I and I noticed that 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 um, Gilbert is has eyes for another man. <laughs> yeah, you come over, and you, you come over, and suddenly you see Gilbert rubbing lotion into Gary's <laughs> big, big arms. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, the... going on here? oh no, this isn't this isn't what it looks like. This is uh he... it's not really. Uh, and I start smacking Gary with a stick. With my stick. Yeah, like <laughs> he, he's like, thanks, bro. As like Gilbert rubs it in. Yeah, a little bit. my Gilbert with a stick in return. A little bit more. A oh. little bit more. <laughs> oh You missed hey, a spot. Hey. I'm here. <laughs> there. Good. Okay, good. And yes. then and then I whisper I whisper to Gary. Finish more later, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Got it. <laughs> the wings back. Yeah. And thank you to Danger yeah. Mangers for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friend, your gentleman and a scholar. Does remind me of Osmosis Jones, yeah. <laughs> what a guy Osmosis was. Um, so, Vicky, do you come over as well? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I rolled a 10, so you tell me. <laughs> uh, so, Vicky, you are stuck. Um, at the top of the palisade, like your clothes, your clothes are like caught, like ripping uh, on one of like the spiky palisades that they built within like ten minutes here, and uh, yeah. you can't like you can't get over, and you go, you know, but look, they haven't seen Gary. you yet. <laughs> yeah, Gary, go go help her, Gary. I'm no, like, Gary can't help me. I saw him winking at you. I don't want any. Um, no, 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 and I just I just try and work myself off the palisade. Can I, can I so assist some... on that? Because I assume this palisade made by yeah. 10-year-olds isn't very high. Yeah, it, it really isn't. <laughs> <laughs> you can assist her. If you're, if you're helping me, you roll first. Yeah. Okay. Roll uh, a strength check for to help her? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Strength check. Just like, pull it down. <laughs> 23. Uh, 23 uh, is pretty good. So yeah, you bring it down about like tearing too much of her clothes. Uh, and like ripping them, uh, and she's she's down. Yeah. So the rip you are kind of like in the corner of the palisade. Uh, the temple is like in the very center, but you have to like sneak your way through to get there first. Uh, can I make an athletics to get over the fence after? Yeah, definitely. And thank you so much to Revolver C for two months. What's up, man? Thanks so much, Revolver. The most gentlemanly of scholars, this man. I salute you, sir. Shout out to my boy Revolver. So can I, um, can I do acrobatics for athletics? Uh, either. Yeah, either. 21. 21 is pretty damn good. Pretty one's damn game good. So yeah, you you succeed uh, in that. So um, what is um, Gilbert doing at this point? Um, so I'm I'm looking around for some way of uh, helping obscure us, so that we can sneak around. Okay. Um, and I'm is there are there any like bushes or trees or anything? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, no. In fact, I was going to say yes. Uh, but they have, uh, the, the, the beaver has used them for the palisade. He's, like, cut them down with his teeth and kind of gnawed on them. So there aren't any, <laughs> any teeth around. And thank you so much to Saxus for the two months. Oh, my God, it's like a sub-fucking bonanza. Welcome, Saxus, dude. Thanks for two months. I appreciate it, my man. The most gentlemanly of scholars. 
I salute you, sir. Uh, and in fact, that's four subscribers uh, today. Good lord, guys. So that means, you guessed it, viewer decision number three of this session? God damn. Yeah. So, um, underneath this line here in the chat, could you guys please throw out some ideas as to what could happen next? They're in the beaver camp, which is like, uh, <laughs> like the, uh, the Nazi beaver camp, essentially. Um, and, um, <laughs> It sent all sorts of Indiana Jones, really. So, uh, throw some <laughs> ideas as to what could happen next. All the kids have been turned into zombies. They're looking to cure the zombies by uh, getting the beaver juice from the beaver. Um, so, throw out some ideas. What could happen next? Thanks to Henley for the host of Summer Man. Shout out to my boy Henley. Um, so, um, yeah, let's uh, let's carry on. So, there aren't any trees around, but you know, you've got. Shrubs around, you know, you got some bushes you can hide in from the beaver. Can we, can we make it from building to building? Like, it would, it, I mean, you can for a little bit, and then there's this like last uh, mad dash that you're gonna have to make. There's this open stretch of ground which leads to the temple, which has right. no cover whatsoever, and there's a bunch of like patrolling zombies around. All right, well, here, here's what we do. I don't think the zombies are very smart. Let's let's chop off a bunch of the leaves and dress up like a bunch of bushes, and maybe we can. Maybe we can Metal Gear Solid our way across this thing. What's Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> I don't even know. It just popped in my head. <laughs> can uh, uh, gosh, um, I just uh, I get down and I start putting dirt on my face. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm like I'm I'm pulling out my my hand axes and just like chopping the bushes up, trying to get a bunch of branches and leaves and things ready. Sure, sure. Um, so, so I start handing them out, like I'm like, here, 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 cover yourselves. <laughs> Control yourselves. Nice. Uh, <laughs> so whilst uh, you guys are doing that, whilst you get some ideas in for the viewer decisions, I remind you folks, really free followers away from another viewer decision. So if you haven't followed yet, hit that button. Let's make it happen. We'll get in a bunch of different ideas, a bunch of different straw polls and decisions going here. Uh, also, here is a tweet once again for when it hits 30 retweets. And in one hour's time, we are doing the Lost Mine of Fandelva, uh, which is the finale of that of that series, in fact, the entire campaign. So come along for that. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Um, so yeah, uh, other than that, though, let's dive back into it. So you guys have got your bushes and your... First of all, you've got to make some stealth checks. Uh, it's going to take three stealth checks to get across this thing, or three different kinds of checks. You can either do stealth, or you could do, you know, you're going to hide in a barrel and run across, or you want to, like, jump across a roof or something like that. You can think of some ways that you guys are making it across, like, the first stretch of this ground here. This is, like, from... This is to the first building. It's Gilbert's log cabin. Is is Gary part of our checks, or are you rolling for him? I won't roll for him, there. Okay. Actually, I will, because uh, he's got advantage. <laughs> yes. He's got inspiration. He's got inspiration, yeah. 28. Oh, yes. You can't even see <laughs> Nice, nice. Ten. You, on the other hand. <laughs> I'm just slunking along. <laughs> slunking along. <laughs> Slunk. Uh, okay, nice. I am nice. part of the shadows. You're just going clump. Uh, what about Gilbert here? Uh, 15, nice. I'm just covered in dirt, making no... <laughs> so, so Tomlin's going along to the, to, to the first log cabin when a zombie, like, treads on him. Boom! <laughs> And like looks down at like the bush that he's in, <laughs> kind of like confused. <laughs> um, can oh god, can I can I make a stunning strike to try to knock? Spin a key point to make a stunning strike to try to knock him out. Sure, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll spin a key, a key point and I'll do a stunning strike. Oh my god, guys, these views. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, let me know what the, uh, the roll is there. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, ten. A ten, I hear you crying. Ten is a hit on a zombie, so, um, <laughs> when you hit another creature of melee attack, you can spend one key point to attempt a stunning strike. Targets make a con saving throw, so these are kids. Um, uh, <laughs> rolled a natural like one. Yes! <laughs> I slayed that kid! Wow. <laughs> you... Do you just smack this zombie child, uh, you know, and it, it just like, it's got these like stars going around its head, it's like, oh, uh, and you can like, minutes. you can scurry away to like the first log cabin. Uh, the second stretch of the, uh, the, the journey across is uh, from the, the Gilbert's log cabin over to, uh, 
to Tomlin's. Uh, and then from there, it'll be Tomlin's to uh, the temple. So, uh, how are you guys going to get across this stretch? There appears to be lots of patrols of zombies going around this area. So, it looks kind of difficult. Hmm. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm going to roll for Gary patrols. as well. I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to look at the patrols and I'm going to time. No, sort of like. Oh my god. He nice. had because he had advantage, he gets 21 rather than that one. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna look at the patrols, I'm gonna time them carefully, and then just gonna be part of the shadows and just weave in and out to the other side. I'll follow her lead. <gasps> no! No, no, no! Since I'm following her lead, can I give oh, her a That is a natural please? one. Please? You haven't said if it's okay or not yet, please? Uh... No, no, I don't. I don't see the reason for that to give her advantage just because you're following her behind. I mean, like, I am following her, so she's extra good. I mean, that doesn't. Here, uh, I, I mean, know I it's walk. that one. I got a twelve. So, um, it's still a twelve. Yeah. It might be that one, but it's still a twelve. It's, it's still we a 12. are just clamoring, just galloping through this. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to create a distraction. So, um, okay. and the only thing in my cabin that's not made out of wood is the. The gold and, and the money down in the little, the yeah. little vault, the little hatch. Mm -hmm. So I pull out these bags of gold and I start shaking them very violently, and then I throw them off to the side to try to get the zombies to chase chase the sounds. How much gold was that? <laughs> I was like, screw it, we'll get it later. Wait a minute, you guys aren't supposed to know I have that. Oh, well. <laughs> that, that money I've been hiding from you till all long. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, uh, Vicky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Vicky was about to step on a trick, but he stopped her. Nah, fuck you guys. Nah, that's that's, that's too easy. <laughs> that's too easy. So um, you uh you step on the twig, and Tomlin watches you do it as um as uh, a bunch of a bunch of the uh kind of like zombies like uh, look around um as they uh, start to kind of like march towards you. Um. Oh, Can I become I mean, one with the shadows and pretend I'm not there? So, so I'm, I'm trying to distract them. I'm like, I'm like yeah. shaking the gold and like okay. throwing coins. Roll me, a, roll me a performance check to see which way they're kind of like going. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nailed no! It. Nailed it. You're like, this gold, this gold! And they're like, hey, hey. This is the shittiest wishing well. <laughs> 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 Oh man, I made the parent for the host, what's up, parent? So yeah, you attempt to uh, to like distract them with gold, but they don't seem to give a fuck. Um, what's up, the frog? How going, man? How many of them are there? Uh, there's like uh, like five of them coming over, but they'll draw oh, noise, you know. Um, and we're just in the middle between point A and point B at this point. Yeah. Oh no. Um, um, I try and sneak up and tie some of their shoelaces together. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a stealth check. Because they're not looking at me. <laughs> 18. 18 is pretty damn good. So you like you, you tie a shoelace together, and one of them like trips so, like, over. I, and... Like like between the two, like I yeah, tie two, two of them with their feet close, and they yeah. tie their feet together. Oh, and they're like walking. Yeah. <laughs> so two of them are kind of stuck. Yeah, yeah. They start like crawling along the floor together as they fall over. Okay, can I can I try and do the same thing to like the other two? Or like I guess there's five, so two more. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, not enough, unfortunately. They they notice you and they're gonna swipe down towards you with their their uh, wooden swords, much better than they were before. So fourteen and a twenty six. Oh god. Oh, twenty six hits. Uh, you take eight damage. Oh, wow. It's it's been trained. Um, and it's uh. This is a precise, precisely or precision. Mm. Zombie with a wooden sword. It really is. Ow. Remember, we can't hurt them. How did he hurt me so so much with a wooden sword? He's <laughs> oh, been trained well, not by you somehow. He's been trained yeah. by beavers, goddammit. <laughs> is, is it the chubby one that did so much damage? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just Tom. Damn it. <laughs> I was talking so nicely about you to your dad, even. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh. you, um, can I, um... Go ahead. Can I... I mean, I, I look over at the other two and I'm like, well... We're going to have some casualties by the end of the year anyway, right? But casualties, yes. We try and avoid deaths if we can. We kind of get charged extra for those. Well, oh, here, in, in, in a moment of inspiration, in like the one time I have something smart to say in my life, I say, well, according to the official definition of casualty, it also includes injuries, not just death. 
What if we just chop his arms off? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is that a solution? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. I, um, <laughs> do we have initiative? Uh, yeah, let's draw some initiative here. I think we haven't got much of a choice, have we? Yeah. No, I was, I was about to say we're kind of. Yeah, congrats to Evil, Evil Almia for a two year wedding anniversary. Good stuff, good stuff. Griffin says, for my monthly benefit as a sub, can we have the dancing beaver from Caddyshack come to distract the zombies? <laughs> I don't know where it says <laughs> that. In the, have you uh, never seen it? I don't, no, no, I don't know where it says that in the, uh, like, the subscriber benefits. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you, uh, we'll have a D10K for sure. Uh, who do you want a D10K to go on? On the zombies? Because uh, you never know. The dancing, the dancing bear might be in the D10,000 table. You never know. I'm pretty sure there is a bear somewhere among it. <laughs> I, I, just for the record, the initiative didn't count my alert feet, so gotcha. it's 19. Gotcha. And thank you to Burial Cat for following. Welcome to the event, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. So Tomlin rolled a 19. Vicky, what did you roll? I rolled a 16. Vicky rolled yeah, a 16. 21. 21. Very nice. Uh, so the zombie's going to go last because they're very slow. Um, and you are Gilbert. On a 21. So, turn order is going to be Gilbert on a 21, followed by Tomlin, Vicky, Gary, and the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, the fat one that just attacked me, uh -huh. I'm like, I'm like, well, if we chop their feet off, they won't be able to chase us. What do you think? Uh, just, just one. He still needs to hobble. We still need him for training, for the money. Okay, so, I'll uh, take this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Not bad. So uh, I, I aim at, I get two attacks if I want, since I have um, two. And I also have like dual wielding, so I get my damage bonus on, nice. on both attacks. Mm. Very nice. So, oh, how do I do the damage? That's if you, if you click on hand axe one on your, right. in the um, dice pool. on your text box, yeah, it'll roll the damage for you. Uh, no, if you're rolling no, this. Get off your carriage seat, uh, bottom you, right in a dice in the dice pool where yeah. you've rolled twenty four oh, underneath. On the actual roll twenty. Yeah. yeah. On, the, on the little chat window. Yeah. Where it showed, showed your roll. Just hover over the hand. Oh, action. I see. I see. Yeah, there you go. There you Actually, click on the word. There we I go. Gotcha. Ten. Ten. Ten damage. Wow. Ten damage. Not so bad. My first attack wow. did, did twenty. Yeah, twenty four with ten damage. Second attack, I only rolled twelve. Uh, twelve is still hit. With six damage. Nice. So you do 16 damage to the zombie. How do you kill this first zombie child? Well, I'm not oh, trying no. to kill him. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to chop. Uh, I'm just trying to chop feet off. Oh, so, I'm trying to kill. I'm trying to just. So just wait, wait, just oh, quite literally. <laughs> let's let's back up. Well, the, that first attack would it, would it chop a foot off of, of the fat? 100 percent. Yeah. Palm? Yeah. All right. So I take that foot off, and then there's there's another zombie next to me, right? Yeah. There were there were two I was trying to chop. So I try to chop another foot off <laughs> with the other attack. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this! You just slice these two feet off of these zombie kids and like, um, and they uh, immediately just um, begin to uh, like hobble towards you guys. Um, can, 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 I yell out to, can I yell out to uh, Gilbert? I think her name was Eileen! <laughs> I give a thumbs up. Good one! <laughs> Nailed it! It's... It's Tom Lynn's turn. <laughs> um, I... Oh, gosh. I'll just uh, go up. So the, the two he put down are, are currently, I guess, prone or restrained. Yeah. Or, um, so he knocked two, so, that, so there's one left. There's three uh, left. There's three left. There are five of them. Two, two of them have their feet tied together because they tied their laces, and one of them is free to walk around. Yeah. But yeah. they're but they're incapacitated currently. I mean they're like so. prone, but they're like they're like crawler zombies, you know, like oh, from right. like Call of Duty, you know. Knock like, down <laughs> knock down the last one and maybe we can run for it and get away from all five of them. Oh lord. Um Uh yeah, I'll 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 try to <sighs> Oh lord. I think <laughs> can I Okay. <laughs> Take an action to try to stun one of their like basically trip him up with my with my first F. Uh definitely, yeah. Definitely. 
again. Okay, I'll just make. So do I just make attack an attack roll? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Twenty-four. Twenty-four is enough. <laughs> then I'm also uh, expecting to see scythe on your attack list. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quarter scythe attack. <laughs> uh, uh, I yeah, I guess I do the eight damage and take both of his legs out from under him. Nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, his his legs are just like <laughs> sliced off, uh, and oh. falls stumpless to the floor. Uh, so so wait so three of them are prone without yeah. legs yeah and then or without uh, at least a leg yeah and then the other two are tied with their legs with legs like, together yeah I'm like run for it <laughs> yeah. all right a... yeah you can run. you can make me uh, like an athletic check there's a there's a basically at this point because you guys have been yeah, making a fair amount of noise shouting and stuff like that but the, the zombie Nazi army are coming towards you guys um and uh, you know there's like the how like I said like. 95 or so more children uh, that are started like enclose in on your area from all oh, no. all directions. How many? There's like a hundred kids, so you've killed like five of them. All right, so it's like 95. Where did they all come from? <laughs> you signed them up, Vicky. Did... You signed them up. I was gonna say we didn't sign up this many. At least 30 each. So um, yeah, you uh, you see them kind of closing in around you. And you guys start to uh, run. Vicky, what are you doing? Um, okay. Presuming that we're actually getting close to the building, maybe there's like a couple of uh, zombie children in front of me. Uh, I just sort yeah, of like, sure. yeah? yeah. I'll just I'll run between the two of them, but I'll just hook my feet in front of them and knock them flying onto the floor behind me as I carry on running. Very cool. Very cool. Run me like an athletics check. Ah, uh, cool, yo. <laughs> Seventeen. Maybe they're just playing Pokemon Go, guys. <laughs> 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 So, so 17, yeah, you like barrel these kids out of the way and kind of burst your way towards the temple. Gary's going to do the same thing. Uh, as Gary runs, he cuts off a few heads. Um, this is good. Oh this is good, Gary. right? As he like, as he does it. Gary, uh, we're not meant to kill them. Oh, right. As I'm running, I scream out, don't hurt, don't hurt him too bad. Okay, sorry. Don't and, hurt them too bad as he's chopping off the heads. Oh, <laughs> my bad. As he's... Uh, <laughs> I wish I could control these giant hands of mine. As it, <laughs> I don't know. What to do. <laughs> the power. As, <laughs> um, he uh, crushes a few kids, um, but he oh, runs. God. He runs inside, and in the temple, uh, you guys uh, burst into this kind of giant rows of uh, all these pews uh, before you, where they they worship the the, the Reich of um, the, the of fuckles. <laughs> <laughs> they worship Fuhrer Fuckles as um, <laughs> he turns he turns round to you at the pulpit wearing this uh, all black leather uh, outfit as all Nazis do in any Hollywood movie. Uh, can, and can we get can we get Fuhrer Fuckles the Angry Beaver trending on, <laughs> on please <laughs> hashtag Fuhrer Fuckles and uh, he uh, he turns around on the spot like any Bond villain does and he says, "Oh, welcome." <laughs> oh no. Uh, I, I I I I yell out and I point my stick at him and I say we, we've come we've come to gather your juices. He's going to milk you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he says some. There will be no milking today. <laughs> <laughs> He's also, like most German Nazi villains, kind of very, kind of like, is he gay kind of thing? You never really, you never, you never know, like... <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, like any, oh no. any good Indiana Jones Nazi villain. <laughs> okay. No, I'm afraid there will be no milking today, because the zombie children are going to be here any second now. <laughs> he does have a monocle, yes. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> As you would be crushed. A mustache, a frothy, angry beaver mustache. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little stash. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, you can, of course, to fake to my side, but uh, you know, and the zombie children like reach like the 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 doors at this point, and they're kind of like waiting outside, and some of them come from like behind uh, Fuckles as well, like his like lieutenants, um, and. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Do they have special outfits? They all like... do. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they all do. They have yeah. like bands around Wait. their arms. These are his SS soldiers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, he says, but I'm afraid there is something that you do not know. Uh, and uh, he, um, he looks to... Uh, the, the group of you, and he says, I'm afraid you've all been tricked by me because... <laughs> uh, he looks to Gary and he says, Gary is working for me! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Gary? With a name like Gary, we should have known. Uh, Gary... Gary's like, uh, what? <laughs> and, <laughs> and, he, and he says, don't you remember, Gary? You worked for me. Oh no! Uh, um, is Gary still all over? I, I, I don't know. Still... I, I, I just oh. grabbed the dagger from my waistband. I put it right at Gary. It's so, like, answer me now. Oh, I might have to save your life. I totally on? remember now. There was this guy. We were in like down in that dark place, and he was like, "Yo." Do you want to get your girl back? And I was like, totally, bro, totally. He gave me the cream and everything. And he was like, okay, all you've got to do is, like, believe in all these twisted, fucked up things. And I was like, well, I basically do already, so... Got it. And... And... and, and so... So is, is Gary still all... He's still all oiled up, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I go, you son of a bitch, and I pull out my flint, and I try to light him on fire. <laughs> like, on fire. Go, but I totally didn't remember that I worked for him, guys. Like, this is all just one big misunderstanding. It's just How like did a, you think this was going to impress me? It's just like a contractual thing, like I do have to kill a certain really? amount of people. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh Alright, so, can, so I, can I strike my flint and try and catch sure, him on fire? Sure thing, yeah. <laughs> what, what, is that dexterity? Uh, like a dex, it? yeah, I guess like a dex, yeah. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. So I'm gonna roll Gary. He's got uh, advantage on this one. Um, oh, damn. So oh, he, he rolls an eighteen. He dodges out of the way. Bro, ah. bro, we can totally be cool. Totally. Like as can long. We? Really? I don't know. I mean, like. Yeah. This guy's all killed, nearly. Or wow. about to be killed. How'd I do that? Are we following the same? Uh, I like told you where the hag was and everything, you know. Yeah, yeah. Apart from we've got zombie children, we're now surrounded by zombie children who now seem to be part of some sort of highly organized organization. Wasn't my Run idea. Run by a freaking badger. Wasn't my idea, Vicky. You know. Badger. It's you a beaver. have to agree. It's a beaver. Don't be racist. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. In defense, I forgot. It's been a long well, time. That's not an excuse. So. <laughs> Listen, fuckles, I'm thinking, like, maybe our deal might be, like, off for a bit. I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, and Fuckles says, well, I suppose we could renegotiate the contract, yeah? Uh, and he's, <laughs> thanks, bro. I owe it to you, man. Like, totally. Sorry, like, you know, we've got to, like, probably, like, kill you now and shit. But, uh, you know, to me, you know, sick hail, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> Everyone we looks at Gary like, what the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what does that even mean? What the fuck? Oh, it's just this thing. I actually don't know. I think it means like, uh, like peace out. Oh, cool. Alright. Right. It's, be it's, it's beaver language, bro. It's okay, man. It happens most days. Yeah, nothing like a nice corpse fire. Um, uh, you, you're sure. You're sure. Can, can we work out some kind of tr some kind of truce? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you considered it for a moment. <laughs> he, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, no. no. Nine! Um, I mean nine! <laughs> nine! Uh, can, can, are we following the same initiative order? Sure, yeah. Sure. Okay, so, so it, would, it be, would it be Vicky's turn? Uh, yeah, I guess it... I think Vicky had a turn, I guess. So technically it's Gary's. Mm, so, technically I had my turn, yeah. So Gary is... Uh, 
I think Gary's gonna pass this turn, honestly. Gary's so fucking confused about what's going on right now. I think Gary lives in a perpetual state of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Fifi will never work out the truth. <laughs> you will never take my juices alive. <laughs> so, technically it's the zombie kids, and they're gonna start uh, kind of rushing, bum-rushing you guys. Uh, so they're gonna start rushing into the temple. So, the top of the round, Gilbert, it's your turn. Alright, so, um... So, <laughs> I I climb up on a pew, where I can get like nice and tall, mm -hmm. and I hold up both of my hand axes, and I go, prepare to be milked, <laughs> and, I, and I just and I try to like worst threat ever from, <laughs> from one to, from the top of one pew to the next, and I like vault over, and then I do like this diving lunge with both axes. Everyone's that's pretty that. terrifying, honestly, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> So, especially since you're essentially a child doing this to other children. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going, after, I'm going after the beaver. It's true, Gary is being a true American and not getting involved in the war for... until it's the yeah. last second. So, um... <laughs> exactly. Uh, roll me an acrobatics check. <laughs> oh. So, um, so the 13, you start kind of barreling away, but you, you know, you kind of like get stuck on one of the pews. Uh, it kind of slows you down. You, you, you start getting close to Le Fuhrer, but, um, you're not... You're not anywhere like near enough to milk him yet. <laughs> Don't say that to kids, Gil. <laughs> and I say, I say, next turn. <laughs> next turn, <laughs> on. We have turns. What? I don't know. It just popped in my head. Uh, so it I've is. I got a moment of clairvoyance. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tomlin's turn. So Tomlin, what are you doing? Tomlin is. Um, how far away is is the Fuhrer? Uh, you know, he's probably like 40 feet away. Okay, I can... I would like to... <laughs> oh, Lord. Run away! <laughs> it, are the zombie kids in front of me? Like, uh, blocking my, my way to him? Uh, some of them are, yes. He's like his elite cadre. You know, uh, of... Uh, his SS. Yeah, his, his SS. Oh gosh, um, <laughs> can I, oh lord, I would like, is there any way to get around them, like how, how much, Poss possibly, you might take a tax of opportunity if you like ran past them. Oh. I tried vaulting over the pews, so that was my, my method. Um, is there like a chandelier, maybe you could swing from a chandelier? Yeah, chandelier. totally. <laughs> Go yeah, full Indiana Jones. Just like marble, got chandelier, yeah. got flowers. Yeah. Done really Sharp well. teeth on this beaver. Yeah, it's um, all made out of wood <laughs> as well. Every every last bit of it is made out of wood. Um, the wood chandelier, which he has burning up there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh gosh. If okay, so in this case, I guess I would attempt to. Um, do something very complicated. Yes, yeah, step I, monks, man. Uh, step of the wind to use a key point to okay. use my bonus action first to step of the wind to him. Okay. With that, with that, it doesn't specifically say it would help. <laughs> um, with but, but it might do. <laughs> Attacks of opportunity, but I mean, I'm like the wind. So you you can rush <laughs> past them, but you you will take attacks of opportunity. Do we start quoting the song now? <laughs> He's like the wind. Um, yeah, I, I, I'll I'll do it. How many attacks of opportunity? Uh, you'll, I... you'll take two. or so you'll take two. Okay, these, then these, I'll, I'll try it. These are his elite, so like a uh, well, ten out of twelve. Uh, both miss. <laughs> yep, they rolled a two and a four. That's pretty shit. All right, so they <laughs> miss, and you get past them towards the Fuhrer. Okay, so I would like to use one attack action to make an attack towards the Fuhrer. Okay, sure. 23 to hit. A 23 is nice. a hit against Fuhrer Fuckles. For 4 damage. Excellent stuff. Mm -hmm. I would like to spend... Let's see here, I have 3 now, so I would like to spend another key point to do uh, Fury of Blows. Uh-huh. <laughs> for a whopping 7. Ooh, which that is a natural 1. That is Isn't not that a success, one? yeah. He like, ha no! Uh, 9! As you uh, attempt <laughs> to... Um, <laughs> Nine. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. <laughs> yeah, uh, and he starts like uh, he bites your like fingers with his like little teeth. Um, so, oh, Vicky, it's your turn. You're being kind of bum rushed by a bunch of uh, zombie kids from behind. <laughs> Brilliant, fantastic. Yeah. Um, 
Okay. Let's see what I've actually got. I think I will shortbow attack the um, beaver. But I'm going to try and just like maybe like pin his arm to the wall or something behind him. It's all made of wood around here. Just going to try and pin him to the wall, stop him running away. Gotcha. Or gotcha. I do anything rash. Uh, uh, no, ten. not enough. You fire out, but Fuckles dodges. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, Fuckles. Ah, That's probably my favorite line so far, Fuckles dodges. <laughs> yeah. Out of the way. Fuckles is I'll Fuckles does. I'll just move dodge. towards him so that I'm like, uh, I'm not too far away, like 10 or 20 feet away from okay. him. Okay, good idea. Uh, <laughs> that's our job, it's true group. Uh, also, I remind you folks, we're just two followers away from another viewer decision, so if you haven't followed yet and you want to throw some madness into the mix, then go ahead and hit that follow button. Join us and uh, we'll make it happen. So, that is Vicky's turn, it's Gary's turn. Gary's uh, super conflicted, he's gonna punch the closest thing to him, uh, which happens to be a zombie child, so uh, he's gonna come in <laughs> with his fist for a 21, boom, uh, and he's just gonna, I mean, he's, he's a pretty strong guy. Uh, so he, he rolls, well, four damage, five damage in fact, uh, against him, uh, and just kind of like hits a zombie kid in the face, did I do good, uh, and <laughs> it's it's the zombie's turn. Um, so, uh, Vicky, seeing as you stayed where you are, you're kind of being overran by these zombies at this point. So, a oh, nat 20, a 19, a 16, a 17, and a 14 versus your armor class. Everything but the 14 hits. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1's a nat 20, so 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Uh, plus... <laughs> 4 is... 35 damage, god fuck. Oh god, I'm out like a line. <laughs> I rolled so fucking well. God damn. Yeah, I'm down. I'm I definitely down. So I trampled. Rolled. I did so good, chat. Did you see me do good? Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Don't praise him, chat. Don't praise him. Did you him. see that, guys? No. We did it, guys. Uh, and Gary's like, no, As you, uh... <laughs> as you fall really down. mellow dramatically. Just, yeah. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks up, Fuhrer, why? As, um... <laughs> <laughs> How could you let this happen, Almighty Fuhrer? Um, so that is <laughs> uh, Fuhrer's turn as well. He's going to uh, get into uh, the person next to him, which I suppose is uh, Trevor. So uh, start out, uh, Tomlin is going to take a hit as he comes in with his nori teeth for a nat 20 and a 19 versus drama class. Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn. So, this guy's strong. Yeah, first attack. This fucking beaver. <laughs> first attack is uh, just uh, an eight followed by ten, so eighteen damage. Okay. And thank you so much to Fuckles the Beaver for following. Welcome <laughs> to the event, my friend, your gentleman and scholar. I hope whoever oh, made boy. that fake account uses that as their real account for All the time, on. like from now on. <laughs> Fuckles the Beaver, period. <laughs> that is who I am, that's who I identify as. So, um,. That is Fuckle's turn. Uh, he ain't fuckling around. No. <laughs> it is Tomlin, your turn. <laughs> Tomlin, what's the plan here? Tomlin, okay. Um, did, we, did we skip Gilbert? Uh, oh. Yes, we did. Gilbert, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm at the top. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, um, no I'm, I'm sticking with my decision. <laughs> Tomlin, don't don't fuck it, Tomlin. Let's do this. <laughs> so, uh, Gilbert, what's the plan here? So um so I'm just a I'm just a little ways away, right? I made it yeah, mostly yeah. to him. So I can like jump at him with my axes now. Sure, yeah. And I'm like I'm like, I told you next turn. Ah that <laughs> 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 <Now, Lacho> did. <laughs> Very efficient, I, I approve. <laughs> <laughs> so um so let's see, I swing at him with one, oh I swing at him with another. Okay. Uh, uh, so 13 and a 23. Uh, 23 is a hit. And that does 6 damage. And six then I damage. use, um, I'm going to use my, uh, what's it called? Action uh, Surge. Action Surge and get another attack in. Nice. Still. Uh, Let's the Beaver says this story has me cracking it up. <laughs> so I start like just wailing on him. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm following Fuckles the Beaver. <laughs> 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 if this guy streams. <laughs> oh. streams, god damn, I'm gonna catch that stream. Uh, so, uh, 21's a hit for 8 damage, very nice, very nice indeed. So, uh, 6 and 8. Nice. Oh, so, 40, so another 6 damage, very nice. Um, so, it is Vicky's turn. Um, well, death saving throw, I suppose. 
Oh god, yeah, I forgot you're down. Rest in peace. Gary, help down. her! Help her, Gear! It's not my no, turn. No, everybody forgot! Oh look, there we go, one dead I don't friend. have healing hands. My hands are only meant for crushing. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> one failure! So Gary's closest to Vicky. Yeah. Okay. He is. He okay. is. Uh, do I get an at 20 nat 1 that will one month? We give Vicky an at 20 on a death save so he's back out to 1 HP once more. Okay, so in fact we can treat that. We'll treat uh, Griff seeing as the, the kind of time delay between uh, stream and chat. So, we'll say, treat that as a nat 20. So Vicky, you come back up on 1 hit points thanks to Griff. So. Hey. Thank you, Griff. <laughs> not like this, not like this. So, um. <laughs> yeah, um. I got 1 health point, woo! Oh you God. you had the potion I handed you. Remember? Yeah. Well, I I I, I, I yell. Yeah, I can use that next turn. This one of you guys comes over and force feeds it to me or something. <laughs> so yeah, force feed it to her. It is. <laughs> it's Gary's turn. Okay, drink this. Um, <laughs> he uh he like chugs a potion down your mouth basically, uh so you can do two d two d four plus four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so, that takes it, uh, to the, uh, the zombie turn. It's gonna be equal parts Gary and you taking hits here, Vicky. So, Vicky, uh... Hey. Meat shield us, Gary. An 18, a 17 versus your armor class. Both hits. <laughs> Gary takes a 15 and a 15, which, uh, nope, he's got an AC 16. So, uh, Vicky, you take a total of 12 damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Uh, oh, 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 yes. Okay, fine. Uh. She's down. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she's down. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So um, it's Fuckles, uh, and he is gonna he's gonna hit Tomlin once more uh, with his uh, bitey teeth for a 17 and a 13 versus your armor class. Both. If it hits a 13 and that's more of a class it hits, right? God damn. Uh, then yeah. Uh, in that case, you're going to take 17 damage. The perfect amount. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Absolutely wrecked. Um, so, uh, I mean, to be fair, it's slightly better for her because otherwise she'd have had one death save already. Now they're reset, right? You know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in some ways... Some ways you're doing okay. So that's Fuckle's turn. Uh, it is top of round three. Gilbert, yours. Alright, so I, uh... Um, so what is, how is he attacking? What is he biting? He's biting with his uh, giant teeth. With his giant teeth? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try and um, use my hand axes to fell out, to, like, to cut the teeth out of his mouth. Oh my fucking god, the, that's brutal. Oh! The, way, the way I would, like, a tree. <laughs> Because I'm a lumberjack. Oh my god. Oh god. That is savage. I, I, I take a swing at his face and hopefully I'll at least get the teeth out. If not, you know, clock him in the face with my axe. Oh my. Okay, give me a roll. 27. Natural na natural 20. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Fuck. Yes. Rip fuckles. 9 plus 6. Oh. <laughs> and that's just my Good. first attack. Good. Uh, yeah, give me the second one as well. And then a 25 and 9. 15 oh plus 9, so 24 damage in one turn. Fuck. Um, so you just you fuckles him, uh, and <laughs> you. you <laughs> I think two fuckles should be a turn, a uh, term. Uh, so you like you cut out one of his teeth, uh, and he's like ah nine nine nine, uh, as you uh, as you do so. Um, Would he do that with a lisp? Yeah. Nine 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 nine. <laughs> nine, nine. <laughs> no, that is not fair. <laughs> oh, you are so cruel. <laughs> so um. That is Tom uh, Gilbert's turn. So Toblin, it's your turn. Um, is there? Oh God! Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, first Fuckles challenge ring is. Oh fuck! Uh, <laughs> um, fuck! <laughs> um, I would like to use. Uh, I w okay. I'll just use my first attack as a course, as a normal attack. Nat uh, twenty. Fuck. Nice. Oh fuck! Okay, uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's a hit. It's suffice if to say to cipher, suffice, cipher. So, trying to find, uh, trying to find attack. a pack. Trying suffice to find a pack. Suffice. Uh, suffice. Sixteen. Oh my good lord! Okay, sixteen uh, damage. 
14. 14, on yeah, one. I can't do maths. Um. It's okay. It's okay. Um, f 14 on the first one. Nice. Um, can I judge how. How. Have, have I created enough um, blood and juices? around him i mean you've got to get into the glands to get those those juices man gotcha. okay, yeah okay, okay. um gotta really get in there deep in you the gotta deep. get in the fuckles um, glands <laughs> um <laughs> okay then i would like to spend one more key point i have one left uh to do flurry of blows nice right, i get one more attack and then i can flurry of blows right yeah okay so i'll get oh, i'll attack one more time for 12. 12 is a miss Open miss. Okay, then now I'll flare blows. Hey, and our 20th follower today is Silverwind. Thanks so much, Silverwind, for following. Welcome to the event, my friends. You're a gentleman and a scholar, which means you guys guessed it. Uh, we're gonna have a view decision here in a second. So just give me this um, damage here, and then we'll get into the view decision. <laughs> um, does 15 hit? A 15 is a hit. Okay, then. Uh... Uh, that would be two more strikes as a bonus action. Nice. So, 25 and 17. Alright, so 25 and 17 are both hits. Let's give uh, that rolls. Oh, it's two unarmed attacks. Uh, here, I'll roll a d4. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Just, just making sure. Um, good. d4 plus my dex would be three. I'd pay good money to see Fuckles Revenge, we do. <laughs> 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 Fuckles Revenge. Provision uh, <laughs> uh, plus three, so six. Um, happening. Yeah, the Pharaoh okay. asks, I'm trying to get into D&D. &D. Any tips? How much does it cost to play it? IRL. Uh, you get a starter set pretty pretty cheap for like $20 or something like that. Probably even cheaper on like Amazon, eBay, those kind of sites. And that has all you need to play. So, um... um oh, sorry. Uh, go ahead. Both those, plus my proficiency and decks and shit. Um, or no, plus my decks would be four, six... So, 11. 11 damage, very nice. Very nice, okay, cool. So, uh, that is Tana's turn. You punched Fuckles a couple of times in the in the, the bleeding, lispy teeth. Um, he's not down yet, though. It's Vicky's turn. She is down, however. So, Vicky, yeah. death saving throw, please. I'm getting flashbacks from the 24-hour stream. How many times did I die in that one as well? It's fair amount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Not enough is the answer, however. So, uh, in fact, whilst Vicky, <laughs> whilst Vicky is doing that, guys, underneath this line in the chat, throw out some ideas as to what could happen next in our adventure. So, uh, it could be that, you know, uh, if Fuckles is killed, he, re he rises stronger, harder, faster uh, than before. <laughs> um, or it could be something completely unrelated. Go ahead and get some ideas in for the viewer decision, and we'll get him into a straw poll. Most popular decision will affect our game. <laughs> good old <laughs> Oh man, Greg the Crab Truck. <laughs> so, Vicky, that was a success. Good job. So, it is Gary's turn. My love. Uh, he's going to try and roll a medicine <laughs> check for you. Uh, he rolls a 13, which is, uh, is actually a success, despite the fact he's got a minus wow. 3 to medicine, um, <laughs> which is his, his wisdom score. So, um, he doesn't get into any wise situations. So, you are stabilized, Vicky, from. Gary. However, Gary is going to take a bunch of attacks from the zombies as he turns his back um, upon them. So, um, <laughs> it's, this has just been like a, a cat and mouse game of like healing Vicky, taking hits. Vicky gets up, she takes more hits. Uh, <laughs> you haven't actually wounded any of the zombies at this point. Oh my god, Gary takes two hits uh, from the uh, the zombies uh, for 17, the perfect amount of damage. Oh, that really hurt, but I'm crying for the pain. Uh, as um, <laughs> as this happens, and it's Fuckles' turn as well, and Fuckles is coming straight in on Tomlin, who's been wailing on previously for a 12 and a 16. 16 hits. Ooh. Nice. Does, uh, he, does he do less damage now that his teeth are messed up? If anything, he does more, but no, he does the exact same. Uh, he, does, uh, <laughs> he does 10 damage to... Uh, to you. Um, and I'm down. Nice. Fuck was right handed hand man, Himmler. <laughs> <laughs> Too real, Silverwind. Too real, man. Oh, dude. Um, this should be like Fimler or something, you know? Uh, oh. <laughs> so, um, that is top around four. Gilbert, it's your turn. Alright, so can I, um, can I try to uh, aim right for, like, 
His juice sack. His juice. His gland sack. <laughs> Does he have glands somewhere? Is Definitely. Like... You're not sure where though. You could run me a nature check to figure out where his juice glands are. What's right, up, Psychness? <laughs> Psychness. I'm imagining that's a, that's an odd sentence on which to enter 14. into a stream, but. Fourteen. Welcome. Uh, a fourteen. Yeah, his his glands are in his uh in his cheeks. Okay. Um. His in his cheeks. <laughs> Yeah, like you know, like hamster cheeks, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack him in his face and see if I can't maybe kill him or at least blow those cheeks open. <laughs> <laughs> We're murdering yeah. his face. Good there we go. Lord, uh, twenty-five is a hit on the the juice gland sack uh, for seven damage, and you do indeed. Uh, <laughs> I try it. Well, you do indeed spurt about uh, a, a, a bunch of. Uh, gland juice out from it uh, everywhere can you describe the consistency I would yeah the consistency oh, really? the word the word I would use is viscous, uh, viscous. as it, <laughs> as moist, it moist, moist and viscous, viscous. Uh, it pours out uh, slowly kind of drips out uh, and which cheeks <laughs> oh all of you shut up ready hit him in the juice box squeeze that Capri sun dry oh. And I'm no longer hungry anymore. Yeah. Yay! Squeeze so we're cap- high five for you. <laughs> awesome. Oh, can I no. can I take as a silver? As a thing silver wind is my favorite now. <laughs> yeah, silver <so> is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, what to do? Sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, can, can I take as a free action to like scoop up some of the juice and fling it on the nearby zombies? Definitely, definitely. All right, so I I, I I just I just scoop my hands through and I just kind of like <laughs> fling it across at, at like his uh, the SS guards, the ones that are nearby. <laughs> <laughs> oh nine nine. Okay. Uh, nine my juices. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see I want to see if it if it turns them back from zombies or what it does. Okay, yeah. Uh, Romy had like a dex check, you know, just like spread over. Spray it on. So you kind of like get a bit of juice on it, but the viscous nature of this liquid and the fluid means that it's tough to uh, tough to throw on there. Um, all right, it's it's uh, Tomlin's turn. Tomlin, what are you doing? Tomlin is going to roll the same throw. <laughs> oh my god, we've got Greg the Crab Trucker from Big Motherfucking Crab Truckers. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Um, death save of 13, so it's a, it's a success, oh, right? Damn. Yeah, that is a success, yeah. So you're oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so it's at this point that we're going to bring in our viewer decision in. Uh, and uh, for those of you who weren't here on the 24 hour stream, I played a character called Greb, Greg the Crab Trucker, who was an investment advisor slash crab trucker with a shotgun, uh, who had all sorts of knowledge about uh, investments. Um, and <laughs> you just you just hear this massive, like, bang, uh, like explosion from the. Uh, uh, doorway as you look over and you hear well listen out here man uh, well, listen right here now you <laughs> little fucks man uh, and uh, fuck was like nine nine this the Americans uh, and uh, he uh, <laughs> he said he says now they don't call me no big daddy splatter master for nothing uh, and uh, and they, oh no it is the big daddy splatter uh, as <laughs> big daddy splatter as uh, that is his his one true title uh, as Greg comes in uh, and begins to advise uh, on uh, well in fact he's very angry at Fuckles not paying some kind of delivery at fee it seems like you better pay this goddamn delivery fee I got my ass all over this crab cell for you boy uh, so um <laughs> your time in Georgia has paid off it really has it really has <laughs> um oh hell yeah Josh oh big daddy splatter daddy so um that is <laughs> No fucking way that happened, yeah. Um, so that is that. It's Vicky's turn. Vicky, what are you doing here? Um, am I still dead? I can't remember. Yes. No, I'm alive. Oh, are you okay. alive? You are. Uh, oh, so disappointed. I know. <laughs> um. Okay. I am going to try and shortbow attack this ass again. Okay. Fourteen to hit the. 14 is one off. AC 15. Oh. God damn, god damn. Okay, can I like move out of the way of possibly any harm I can find so I don't. You better die. move your way out of the big daddy splatter daddy right here, right now, little yeah, lady. No. <laughs> oh, fingers are gonna get all howdy. sorts of messed up in here. Oh, howdy. Oh. <laughs> I do declare. 
okay. So you want to kind of move out of the way? You want to shuffle out? Okay. Yeah, move out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, if it's... she disengages, will she take an opportunity? She won't take an opportunity to attack. Yeah, yeah, you disengage is actually a full action. So if you move, you will take a tax of opportunity. Go on. Oh boy! On, let's, let's try, I, I let's did too to get your ass out of the way. The big daddy splattered at it right here, right now. Uh, you take <laughs> a twenty-two and a twenty-three from the zombies. Guess what? They both hit. And one can only assume that you were down uh, on twelve damage. Guess what? What? I'm down. Oh boy! I did advise. <laughs> I did advise. On, I praise the Lord for you, girl. Uh, I will be praying. I will be praying for you. Uh, so it's Gary's turn. What the fuck? This guy's more American than me. And uh, <laughs> he's going. <laughs> Gary's going to come in with his fists on a couple of the zombies that are around here for a 17 and a 20, which are both hits. Uh, he's going to roll uh, his fist damage for six and eight, splattering some zombies. Um, and uh, it is the turn of Fuckles. So. Uh, <laughs> So you are down, Tom, at this point, but Gilbert is not. So Gilbert, he's going to attack you uh, for <laughs> some 12 and a 12. Guessing nope. that's a miss. So that is a uh, <laughs> praise the Lord and splatter joy juice. Oh my, oh my Lord, I do declare. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually funny because this character, Sydney's dad is called Greg, and this is just straight up playing Greg. Like, this is, <laughs> oh. this, this is like, you know... This is just reality for me. So, um... <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll be. I'll be, I'll be. Oh, that's wild. Oh, ding darn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, uh, anyway, that is uh, Gilbert's turn. So, Gilbert, you got one All last right. chance to take down the fucker monster here. Yeah, I mean, is he is he looking is he looking bad? Does it look like I might be able to kill him, or do I need to help people out? It, it looks like he's pretty damn wounded at this point. And thank you to Shadowblade okay. for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friends. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Okay, I'm 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 gonna just keep uh, hacking at him. I'm gonna try and try and cut this head off of his body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep going at him with the axes. <laughs> Stick and Greg needs me. Oh my god. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> straight up Greg. Actually, uh, Greg go. Greg actually watches and the stream sometimes. You know? Look at that. Whoa. Oh my lord. Uh, 22 is a hit for nine damage. Yeah. Fun, fun oh, fact. Two two attacks. Oh, so 23 yeah. for five and 22 for nine. Nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, fun fact, both of Sydney's parents actually watch the stream sometimes. When I was over there in America, I'd be in one room streaming and I, I'd see the username Sydney's mum come up <laughs> in the chat. And I'm like, Melissa, you are in the other room watching me. <laughs> she just peeks <laughs> ominously around the corner. <laughs> oh, hello there. Uh, so, um, with uh, a total of 14 damage from Tomlin, that is enough to, to bring down the fuckles. Um, chop his head off. The, you bring down the fuckle brothers. <laughs> um, and yeah, how do you how do you want to take him down? Well, I, I want to chop his head off yeah. and then like pass his head around to try to get the gland juice. Did, did the gland juice help with the zombie kids? Uh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I want to I want to get the head off and then start like like running around and like like carrying the head and like splashing the juice on oh, oh my lord you become a splatter daddy just like me as you, <laughs> you please tell me Sydney's dad doesn't call herself splatter daddy or doesn't call himself <laughs> <Splatter Daddy. laughs> that he does not that is uh, an embellishment um <laughs> So, um, yes, you, you cut off his head and you go around splashing the kids with the glandular juice. Uh, and they begin to, like, turning back from zombie form back into their childlike state. Um, and you manage to, you know, pick up Tomlin. Gary's there as well, standing in, like, he's killed loads of zombie kids. He's like, <laughs> he's, just a pile he's, trying to, he's trying to put the juice on. He's like, why isn't it working? I don't understand. I don't... Uh. I, I tell him, I, I go, I go, get... Uh, Gary, you, you just eat some. You just gotta eat some. Here. Lick okay. It. He licks it. <laughs> yeah, lick it some more. Okay. Just keep, just keep licking the head, and I leave the head with him. Okay. Doesn't seem to be working, but I'll keep at it. It might take a while. <laughs> so, um... He's licking the beaver head. <laughs> <laughs> Just the tip. Uh, so, uh, what is what is Tomlin doing as he he gets up here? Uh, Tomlin is currently dead. 
So I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll revive you for a second, because we've only got a okay. few minutes left. <laughs> uh, Tomlin uh, scrapes some of the juices off behind the viscous and just rubs his gums with it real quick. Uh, what does he taste? Um... <laughs> Don't, don't do it, don't! Um, don't resist! <laughs> but it's I'm so totally tempting. On this one. <laughs> but it's. You just you just taste straight up splatter daddy. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, okay, okay. And, and I, I gather. Can I take the corpse and just like. rip it to make the most juicy mop or beaver mop possible so I can start rubbing it all over people. <laughs> sure. So you you, uh, you rub up the, the, the kids and they get back to their childlike real human forms like what happened to us? I, I, I would like to leave the Was this the first the adventure? <laughs> <laughs> you failed! <laughs> <laughs> Why are those kids dead? <laughs> <laughs> um, the the kids that are laying with their legs cut off and and the chubby one Tom, I'm gonna oh. leave for for Vicky to deal with and I throw her the oh. other the other half of the beaver. <laughs> <laughs> so at um at the uh, as that happens, uh, you know Gary just like kind of uh, helps you up, Vicky, or like you know takes you uh, by the by the arm and he says, uh, so Vicky, do you think we could like work things out, maybe? Now let, you know, the kids are alive and shit. <laughs> you killed several of them. Yeah, but they were bad at the time. Right? Yeah, they'd have been good now, though. But you killed lots of them, too, so I think it's okay. I didn't kill any children. Actually, I never killed children. Actually, I think you did, but okay. <laughs> so, is that a yeah? I'm thinking... We can work on it, I suppose. Okay. But can we talk about this where there aren't dead children and dead beavers and zombified I things. thought it might add to, like, the ambiance, but okay, I guess. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Well, we'll work on it. Mm. Okay, fine. Okay. I suppose. Great. Thanks. Love you, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many how many people in chat would buy Splatter Daddy products if I sold them? I mean, oh, no. you should make a shirt. You, you should yeah, need a shirt. I do. <laughs> Where's my ERP Splatter Daddy shirt? Where's my Splatter Daddy ale? Oh my god, this is a whole new branch. I should start streaming. Can there be a under... Splatter Daddy air freshener? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, okay. No, a giant so. crab truck of fighting fuggles, splatter daddy rules. Oh you dear lord. Right for this before somebody nicks it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get that. <laughs> <laughs> what if ERP splatter daddy? Could I get that remote for <laughs> approved? So anyway, you, uh, you take down the fuggles, you bring the kids back to their, you know, their full health, um, and, uh, what do you, what do you guys do next? What's the next move for the school, you know? So we've gotten all the kids. Yeah. Um, can, can we do a uh, head count to see how many fucking kids we have left? How many have survived? Yeah, how many How many are injured? How many are dead? <laughs> a fewer of fuckers too. <laughs> oh, what? No! Oh my god, he could have a sweet comb over. Splatter daddy a... pants. <laughs> Splatter yeah, yeah. up one leg and daddy down the up. <laughs> yeah, he'll have like a little mustache above his two little teeth. You could totally make it like an old propaganda po poster oh and have Spider Daddy being the big oh. American. Guys, <laughs> guys, there are there are eighty people in chat right now, and you guys are some very talented artists in chat. I need I, we need some fan art for this stuff, guys. <laughs> we, need, <laughs> we need some Splatter Daddy design, and if it's a good design, I'll make it as a T-shirt. We'll print it. I'll pay you for it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good times. Let's do make it. it. Make it an old propaganda poster yeah. with. Fuckles the Beaver being the Fuhrer and and Splatter Daddy being the big American guy. Yeah, instead of SS, it can say FF. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Fuhrer Fuckles. Oh man, man, oh, we God. yeah we're, we're we're just making money these <laughs> these. Uh, <laughs> dear Lord. So um um so anyway, uh, how do we how are you guys gonna wrap up the uh, the session? What do you do with the school? How does the school move on from Fuhrer Fuckles and the Splatter Daddy? 
Um, I would like to tell the kids that they failed their first mission and it only gets harder from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're very disappointed. We, uh, <laughs> we clean, we march them to bed right away. Say, you have to go to bed early. <laughs> no dinner. <laughs> and the, the kids are like, oh. Um, I think he's just sitting in the corner, he's got a nervous twitch now from lack of alcohol. Mm. <laughs> we, uh, we, we clean up everything. We leave, you know, I, I say we have a little conversation. We decide to leave the temple and the buildings that they built <laughs> as nice. improvements to the yeah. camp. Yeah, like New actually, additions. We yeah, saw the, like a, an adventure playground or the, a Wendy house. The or parents what? come back and they're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, is it just, why have you taken my kids into a Nazi school? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys weren't supposed to be here yet. We Wait, love the Fuhrer. <laughs> it, it was the it was the adventure theme for the year. Yeah, yeah. Today's theme yeah. was just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on that bombshell, we do unfortunately have to uh, to wrap up this episode. Yeah, this one shot of a D and D adventure school. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, but we certainly had a lot of fun doing it. But do not worry. Whilst we finished up today's episode, we're going to be back in 10 minutes time for the finale of The Lost Mine of And that's a game where uh, we help teach you guys to play D&D whilst we play it ourselves. So if you're interested in learning, uh, pick up a few tips and tricks on how to play D&D 5e, then stick around for that show. It's a lot of fun. It's the last one in the series. There's going to be a lot of climactic things happening and we're going to have a lot of uh, splatter daddy goodness coming up. If you did enjoy this stream, um, as well as sticking around, you can hit that follow button and join us to catch our other streams uh, throughout the rest of the week as well, because we're here Sunday through Thursday playing D&D five, uh, five days a week, uh, ten shows a week, so come along and hit that follow button if you haven't already. We'll get more viewer decisions going in the next show as well, but let's go around and thank our players for the uh, the, the wonder that was uh, D&D Adventure School Fear of Fuckles edition. So let's, let's start with Zartard. <laughs> So I've had any uh, thoughts on the session, and then the uh, you know hooks and plugs and the like. Uh, the session was fantastic. I hope I hope chat had as much fun as we did. I don't think there was a single scene that we weren't giggling at some point. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, as far as plugs, uh, follow me on Twitter as Zartar or at Zartar Gaming, Zartar underscore Gaming. Um, I will hopefully be starting my own Twitch channel soon, so if you're okay. interested, keep that in check. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Uh, Tom, robots. <laughs> hey guys, um, thank you so much. This was, again, a blast. Uh, thanks for having me on. Um, I, I stream on uh, twitch.tv slash robots, which is, the link is right there. And we do a Dungeons & Dragons show that I DM on Monday nights, and um, Will was going to guess. Things got moved around, so he's going to guess uh, this coming Monday oh, yeah. on the show. Um, so I would love if you guys just pop in there real quick drop me a follow if you want to remember to come back to the channel But we've been having a lot of fun with our stream as well And we've got a great cast of characters and things so I, I hope you guys come check us out I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Awesome. The splatter don't stop <laughs> Oh man, more splatter daddy so you guys do want to see more of this stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Rachel uh, Force in the session and then you can reveal you know what's going on next week's because I believe you've got yeah. you know, some some hot exclusives for us yeah, um, no, as far as this game, I don't think I'm bringing back this character because 24 hour stream, she died three times. This stream, she died three times. And you broke me at least twice. So, no, this character's probably never <laughs> going to come back ever again. <laughs> um, uh, hooks and plugs, I don't usually have much to do because I don't have the time for streaming or anything, but I'm usually hanging around in chat. Um, who, if you want to talk, by all means, I'm right here. I don't mind. I love chatting. Who is um, DMing next week, Rachel? I feel like you missed out. Who my... is DMing for next week? That's a good question, isn't it? I wonder. Um, yeah, I'm taking over this session for um, next week from 6 to 9 EST. Um, no title as yet. Ideas all in there at the moment. Um, but as soon as I have a title for you, Will, I'll drop it to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there we no, go. No clues as yet. So no 